Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the finale of Minish Cap, 100%. Um, where the last few things before we go to the castle and clear the game out is uh, our heart containers. We have exactly eight more heart pieces to find. We have five more kinstone fusions and just a couple more figures to get with the shells. So we'll do all three of those things and uh, yeah, take on the castle. But I do know where the rest of the heart pieces are because I didn't want to be wandering aimlessly. And it's a couple semi-obvious ones we missed. Uh, Starting with just two on the mountain, because there's a lot of stuff on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, we just missed this. Could have gotten that before the second dungeon, but uh, <laughs> it was a little inconspicuous. Also, we're good on fairies. One little guy. So, next one will just be up a little bit more. And I'll be the first two right away. Mm. I really like these remote bombs, but... uh. I keep using them like normal bombs. I love the remote feature. I love that they can be like spammed uh, one after the other. So for the high elf guys, it's a fun way to punish. I'll be unlocking punished by the rocks this time. Just a little bit up. This next one's something we forgot to return to. Um, yes, I did have to look up these heart pieces beforehand because we would be wandering for hours. Um, we're on the whole map otherwise. Wait, is it that way or...? I think it might, might have been this way, actually. Yep, it was this way. The dig site. Let me go here. Oh, bye-bye, rocks. <laughs> and you too. <laughs> I felt him. That. Also, yeah, no 2D Zelda games really use remote bombs, so it's really cool. That is true. It's like this game really elevates so many classic items. Oh, yeah. And of course, Boomerang. Don't see that much in the new 3D games. I lied, it's all over in Breath of the Wild. Um, like the middle era of 3D games. Wait, I lied, I think every... Yeah, well, it was only Wind Waker and Skyward that didn't have it. Okay. It's, uh... It's goneness was very apparent, though. Where is that heart piece? Or did we go here? Okay. I had a feeling that one or two of the spots I was going to check. Right, the wall just stays. <laughs> Whenever I see a dig wall like that, I'm like, oh, certainly we didn't go there. But I forgot it stays opened. I was like, wait a second. That platform means we were here. Which is fine. Also checking for kinstones. Um, okay. Well, I know where the next ones are. Not again. Checking is okay. Peace of mind. Pick me up. Thank you. Um, there's one tied to a kinstone fusion. Which we have five of those left, so... Yeah. More the merrier. Goodbye. We can check the tingle. It's five, right? Just on-stream confirmation. Twice we fuse. <laughs> Only two of the tingles have duplicate fuses. Or double fuses. Yep, five more. <laughs> I did it. I did Tingle hasn't been in the game in a while. Besides the outfit cameo. And the new ones. Such a strange one. And of course, of all games, he gets introduced in Majora's Mask. The strangest of the bunch. Strange of the strange. Yeah, that seed. <laughs> I was always wondering how to get that seed. And... I didn't have to go very far. So, so this is the last stream I looked some stuff up, at least to get us started, because, yeah. <laughs> Big old bean. This is probably the ones that you're supposed to do first for the beans. We did like every other bean puzzle, so. <laughs> Just started an ancient only run in Breath of the Wild this morning. 
And you got pink for this. Very awesome. Again, that's one of the most fun ones to do. The signature style. And the most powerful. There we go. Is there a link between worlds and you love it? So good. Um... I think it just controls really nice, too, because you have, like, the circle pad of the 3DS. Um, so the movement's very fluid in that game, how you just can run around and, like, hack through enemies. It's the only 2D Zelda game with that full fluid 3D movement, but top-down. So. Oh, shells. <laughs> That's nice. Um, still have a couple more figurines, so. And yeah. Second heart piece out of eight. And we've also taken some of those rupees. Wait, I wonder if our warp works up here. We're outside, so... Maybe. Pick me up. No. Okay. Too much altitude for the bird. He can't get enough oxygen up here. Head cannon. Okay. One towards the warp. <laughs> Ever since I learned that you could do that, like, run towards the bird. Yeah. It just feels fast and nice. What was it? The shop? It was here. Okay. Only really thing to buy. And we'll buy all the figures right before we do the castle, but... We'll just keep getting shells for it. It's steep, but... Better to do it this way than the... Those, like, potions that increase the sh shell drop rates temporarily. Because those are not worth it. It's, like, 200 for one of those, and at most, and that's you, like, 10 more. Even if you break a bunch of grass. Because it lasts, like, no time at all. Okay, do that. And this, too. What are we at now? Don't tell me I just... Oh, right, it's only 30 a pop, so... Keep doing that. Just once more. It's nice that it just restocks instantly. It's what's in those crates. He just has all, like, thousands of shells. Apparently. Okay. So now we're good on that. Um, luckily, there is another... heart piece in the town up here. It's one that we kind of saw before, but it's one of the few things that required the four sword, and I got to that point, but I turned away, then I completely forgot about it. I didn't put a mental pin there, sadly. Usually I try to, but no. So kinstones? No, I talked to all you recently. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, we got a be small. How do we be small? Right, the giant pot. <laughs> That's small. Fun. Yeah. All right. Ow. <laughs> Not the chest. Okay, it was here. Stop. Had the fast charge and all the upgrades. The payoff actually feels worth it. It's not just endless rupee rewards where you can't do anything. It's like, yeah. Abilities. You can charge your sword faster and then split your links faster. Actually run around faster and yeah. This kit's really nice in this game. Okay. Fight. Oh! You like block each other. And from the back. Fly around. <laughs> and then a little spin from the butt. Hold this roll. So that was that. I have like a little list pulled up. One second. Um, of like places to check. So, 
Let me pull that up. I, I literally just did it before the stream. I was looking at a guide. Um, yeah, we got the bomb spot. D for done. Or, uh, that for done. This was a bust. Um, Kinstone, we got that one. And then we got that one. So apparently the Kuku game had one. I just kept getting rupees from it, but you're supposed to, if you get them all, you get a certain reward, it looks like. So we'll have to do that. Also, on my new Wednesday playthrough, are we streaming through Sky Island for tears or are we gonna play it off stream till I'm ready? Well, we'll be doing the entire thing on playthrough since the Sky Island, obviously there's a lot of zoning stuff on it. So it'll be like the base tier zoning weapons, just like the shield and old bow. I think that's it. But yeah, there'll actually be like Zone content on there. So that's the cool thing about a Zone run is everything can be utilized. Even the armor is Zone. So. But yeah, not too much time there because obviously the good stuff comes below. We'll still make use of it, get as much Zone parts as possible at first. But I'm very excited for that. And yeah, that'll be this Wednesday. Okay. So apparently. Did a new tier of it open up? I think so. Yeah, because I don't think it was five before. I thought it was three. I played it so many times I didn't bother checking again, but probably like later in the game. So that's kind of a steep timer. That's what the boots are for, right? Okay, there's three, four. I think finding them is going to be the problem. Yeah, if I have to restart, that's fine. I'll just use the boots. If I can at least find the next one for the next game. No, it's probably up, honestly. No? Oh, there you are. Okay. That's one every 10 seconds, so they're very kind with that. Okay, five seconds to start, and Gotta move guard. I'm barely saving any time with that. It's like we have to be lightning first. Oh, sorry, so sorry. Oh my god. Not kind with timing. Ooh. So this one over here, what am I missing? A gold check-in? Wait, what? Wait. What? Or is that supposed to be a brown chicken? Not sure. Okay. So that's not really... The cape won't really speed you up. It's just... We gotta be more precise with the boots. And maybe a bit of luck in the placement, too. Okay, there's one across the bridge. Easy Pegasus boots. Can I throw it like that? I can't. Can you restart the game? Okay, good to know you can't throw it. Uh, okay. I was like, am I, am I wasting time by throwing it the other way? I, I guess we just gotta... Let's just investigate. There's one right here. One right... Yeah, they are random. So I feel like it can be a bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just get all my arms? Because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Kind of unlucky the first time. But I guess if we start with the kind of far off one, we can like gauge where some closer ones are. So then I can mentally map it, like the next two. Let's do that. <laughs> Kuko mini games in Zelda. Okay, one above the bridge. No. 
One right there. That'll save some time. There we go. And how many are left? I don't know. I just just throwing. There are two more left. Probably one in the town square. Oh. One by Beetle. Crap. No, we gotta go for a different one. A little bit closer. Ugh. Damn it. That was like a little far. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> not all of them, but the best you're getting. What? Oh, there's going to be a tighter one. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the? Maybe it'll be slightly more generous soon? What? Bro! What? Huh? Does he not like bridges? So he can't get the gold ones? You need to keep throwing the gold ones. Ah. Painful. Oh, but I guess you can kind of chase them into things. That's a strategy, right? You have to juggle them. <laughs> Chicken juggle. They're fragile. Shy. That's, that's what I meant to. Well, I guess the more we get non-shy ones. <laughs> Mailman, get out. Sorry. That's going to be three already. <sighs> Juggle chicken. Damn it. And then just gone. Okay, that's fine. Um, we did not bad. It's like the two little turns we turned wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning. It's like I didn't expect we had to do it twice, and this one being harder. Yep. You're wasting an adequate amount of time on things I shouldn't be wasting time on. There we go. That was not perfect. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Let me get that one. The one across the bridge. Wouldn't that be five? It would. Yes. If we just chase that one back. Oh, crap. And bye bye chicken. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> That's five. Don't have a harder one, please. No way. More money. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Six and fifty seconds. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe they're more generous. Maybe they're making their way to town, you know? Hometown. Watch, first go. Oh, crap, that's a bad first go. If we chase him, oh, that one doesn't chase as much. Oh. Oh, non cooperative. These. Ugh. Get out. Okay. Yeah, chase one like that. There we go. We can, like, hurt him. A little bit. How many was that? Not enough. I know that. Chicken. <laughs> Too focused in chicken mode. No! That might cost us. No, we're making it. First try. Yes! Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> okay. 
Becoming more the chicken expert. Mm -hmm. Pro farming skills. Not for the farming reward. Mm -hmm. but we are farming rewards. But it's, it's one I'm after. How many? What? Wait, no, that was... It was six, six and 50 seconds last time? I don't know, it's... I didn't realize there's gonna be so many. That's so funny. <gasps> okay. Do that. Hurt him in. And then we go there. It's like, gonna be a little bit more generous to accommodate for all the pain. Okay, gold chicken right there. Normal chicken right there. Maybe I can hurt him in. Yeah, probably can. So. Alright, we'll just start with that. Let's see, that's three. Yeah. Four, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, wow! Uh, ten. Ten chickens. Okay, good. Gold chicken up there. I feel confident, which I shouldn't be. Damn it, there's a normal one right there. No! You, no! Pick up, pick up! I missed my golden opportunity by taking the golden chicken. I needed a plain opportunity. Oh! It's like I want to restart the. Get out! This music's nice. Okay, um, so this has to be the last one. <laughs> Is it time to recuperate and just kind of get back in our senses a bit? And then we'll figure it out. Um, let's see, questions, questions. Able to throw the chickens through the woman if you need to? Okay. But that one time I threw it and like bounced off the fence, so I guess through her is okay, but not through the double fence. questions next week's zoning around youtube or twitch it'll be youtube um yeah if it's a wednesday thing it's always on youtube and i'm doing more stuff here because there's you know more people want to see stuff here the twitch will mostly be for challenge on weekends like condensed stuff and then not in zelda stuff okay anyways no rough start do not stab the golden chicken despite how much he's hurting me in the inside oh he just scared himself there That's still, still faster than walking. By like, by a crumb. Okay, let's see. Golden chicken there. Okay, throw past her. Yes, we can. Gold chicken, white chicken. And another gold chicken there. Scare, but don't get too ahead of it, otherwise the scare will go the opposite direction. This one just fast in. There's one up there. How many? Crap. <sighs> I still have to get two more! Wait, two more? Three more? Ten more? I didn't pay attention. I think this is the last one, right? Is that it? I don't... <sighs> I lost track. I just was throwing chickens. Doing what I do best. I think that was it. We were just really fast? Yeah, we were really fast. Not fast enough for the heart piece. <laughs> A lot of money, though. Just being a farmhand should not stack this much. Entrepreneurship? What's that? What? Just be a farmhand? Two and fifty-five? These are some hidden chickens, aren't they? Okay. Far away. You guys are going to be far away. You gotta be, like, here. Oh, what the? I heard a chicken! Or maybe it's because it's here. <laughs> How funny. And we're gonna find the other chicken on the walk back. I wonder if it's the same spot every time, or like a couple odd off spots. Likely the latter. Okay, if it's not on this pathway, we'll check the center courtyard. 
on the way back. Center courtyard, it's gotta be. Oh my god, we just explored the whole town. A minute! That's hell. <laughs> you weren't there. It, it was outside the town. It was outside the town. <laughs> also, if you want to restart the game, just enter a building. That, that's a good idea. Under the bridge. No, that, that wouldn't even make sense. We can, can pick it up. Aha! So yeah, I guess that I see where that's a blind spot. They very slowly run. It's not like the gold chickens. You can use that to your favor. About a 15 second walk back with the chicken. On a good day. <laughs> Probably a lot more actually. What? <laughs> Mailman would have screwed it up. But this is fine. It's going to work perfectly. Oh, wait, the entire market square we got to go past. <laughs> this is an LTF. <laughs> I'll learn the fight. Getting on the first go? No. It's about learning the route. I love games like that. When you can't beat a boss in the first go, you have to just keep dying to it over and over until you learn the patterns. And then you can. Same concept, but with chickens. So even worse. I'm surprised we got, like, one of them on the first go and another on the second. I think I'm more surprised than how many chicken minigames there are. I think this game, because of all of its rounds, holds the records for most amount of chicken games in Zelda. I, I, I messed that up. No, I didn't. That's three seconds faster. Stop! <laughs> Damn it! Like, that's gonna save it, alright? That saves the run. Stop. Drill it into my brain that I failed. <laughs> okay. Um, once more. Once more, the 100%'s busted. We'll lose all motivation. And drive. Okay. This time... Yeah. We'll know the route. It's just... Keep getting stopped by soldier A and B and C. Okay. That's fine. I, I don't want to chicken juggle. I feel like that's just going to mess me up. Yeah. 20 seconds to get back should be fine. You're making me absolutely panic. Maybe we would have had a chicken juggle. I don't know. How are you feeling? Oh, this is the bridge. Okay, we're good. Right? Right? One. No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> this is the hardest one. Okay, any more and I'm just like absolutely failing myself. I learned nothing. <laughs> That time it was literally a second, so the soldier that stopped me was working for Vadi. Okay, that, that, was, that saved a second. You know, that's that's good. <gasps> that killed a second. We're juggling. We're chicken juggling. We're behind the house. There we go. Chicken juggling might actually work. and save this. I think so. Okay. We juggle it just enough to actually be viable, I think. What? Huh? <sighs> he just went himself in a corner. <laughs> the row was pretty good. <laughs> this is just my mind on edge. <laughs> All the people are insufferable. Oh yeah, thank you. That's what I wanted to do. 
Soldier, don't stop me. Having a good... Nope. And that... Killed a second. I feel like we have to go down and left. Maybe I'm killing another second by doing that. I perhaps am. That's okay. No more chicken juggle. Just that. I think it's like the same boat as last time. I don't even know where the chicken went. Does he just always go in that crevice? Why do you sprint that far? They never sprint that far? It's no different from the times that we're doing a different strategy. <laughs> okay. So let's actually perfect the route. Because this is a speed run now. A speed run where the times matter and the milliseconds of the chicken running counts towards your mental sanity. This time we go straight down and then to the right. I think that will save just enough time. Can we throw it across the water? If we could throw it here, I think that's probably what you're supposed to do. Now that I think about it. It's about finding the path, not taking the same beaten path and failing and complaining that you're doing so. We're good. Chicken expert. <laughs> Again, this is the path to riches. You know, now that I know the route, I'm not even going to stress it. This is how you catch a chicken. <laughs> not the suck. Ow! Sorry, chicken. I was owing on his behalf, but not even stressing this time. So if you throw it here, maybe across the bridge. Yeah, maybe across the bridge. And then you might run to the goal. And then we go up here and get that one. Okay. the timer drain because it'll take that long anyways. Ish. Now I'm blocking you. Sucks. Sucks for you. <laughs> what? He just jumped over me? <laughs> I mean, the male can't fully stop. <laughs> the temporary delay. Okay, now I got it. Now this is chickening. Of the chicken. Oh, wait. Yep. Okay. Soldier. Oh, you want to go all the way to the wall. Nothing to protect, protect there. The sign's missing. So we're going to go to the bridge, chuck them right, and then just leave them until the very end. There we go. Chuck. What? What the? What? No? Doesn't compute? <laughs> Guess not. But if they're going to run like crazy, let's just make him run in the right direction at least oh my he is not happy this chicken's pissed okay um nope he's going he's leaving the town he just straight up ditched town just yep ditch the objective too he's gone not visible <laughs> not there oh i'm having a great time not having a good time not <laughs> Okay. Now we know that the board is ch chicken repellent. You put anti chicken spray on it or something. Okay, there we go. So he does that. You can just follow. Running, not running, doesn't matter. Where the hell did he go? I threw him this way. I definitely threw him that way. Huh? How and why? Two, one, 
Zero. No! Why did he end up there? He curveballed. He's trying to go back home? This is home. Go here. You must really hate Andrew. She gets paid well because she pays me well. But these chickens just really like running away. Maybe it's like a worker safety issue or something, you know? Like, there's a reason why they keep running away. She prioritizes profits over the chickens' well beings. So they keep running away. Oh, actually, thank you. That was pretty clever. Or ac acrobatic. Okay, don't go in the corner. I just can't lose him this time. There we go. Oh my god. Wow. It's just like they just lined up. No. <laughs> They're going feral. <laughs> they really don't want to be back. Trauma everywhere. From <laughs> yeah, in the door. Now that's good. With plenty of time left over. We're grooving. <laughs> Spin to win. Reward. It's not even the heart piece. It's not even the heart piece. Oh, why only 20 rupees? Now you're underpaying me. <gasps> Three and 55. Okay, well, it's all tailored, so. Bro. The entire bridge. The entire damn bridge. <laughs> I think she's working on gun stuff. Just slowly losing my mind. <laughs> but yes. The peak experience. This is why I played Minish Cap 4. A never ending minigame. Yeah, just combine all the total number of chicken minigames in Zelda. Only be a fraction. Just. It's like one per game. Now, nah, Minish Cap has got one per sanity. You're gonna run out. <laughs> that half made sense. Because the other one's gonna be across the damn river again. We all know it. Maybe not as cruel? Oh, that's cruel. I'm just... I, I know you're gonna be across the river. Oh my god! You are. Keep going. Oh! Not on the first go. On the first go? <laughs> that one? Okay. In the groove. Chicken groove. <laughs> yes. Omelet-tastic. My reward? There it is! Wow! That was a ton. Um, but fun, actually. I didn't realize it was that much. Now we got a bit more of the paycheck again. Don't know how the pay scale works, but, uh... We got, like, 20 for the worst one. What's the more? Okay, now it's the same. Can't go inside buildings. Uh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. To buy more shells. Legend of Chicken minigame. Have I told you how much I can appreciate your continued patronage? No problem. Uh, let's buy two more sets. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that heart piece was the final one for the set. I just realized. I just I was excited by other means, so I didn't even pay attention. The real accomplishment was finishing the game. That was the reward in itself. Yay. <laughs> Another one. You can get only four more heart pieces, four more kinstone fuses. This is great. That was great. Um, we're gonna do a save state, so create suspend point. I'm just gonna do it over that one. Just so we have two. Okay. Or I like to do it on not the menu. So then you can see where we are. So I kind of remember. <laughs> Unlike that one. Um, so next one was, let's see, oh yeah, another heart piece, I remember, remember where this is. There was one actually by Link's house, because I didn't really go back to this area too often later in the game, so there's some stuff that I missed here. So how many action figures am I missing? Not a lot. Well, I think it's around 20. I'm not sure how many are post-game, but 
I have a very easy way to get them, so a little bit of gambling. It'll be a lot faster than any conventional way. By like four times at least. So that part I'm not worried about. Um, I'm just gonna check the fusion really quick. I think this one's good, yeah. There we go. I didn't really come here with the flippers, like ever. So hence just things like this. Harpies. <laughs> that is one. Um, one of them is just for finishing the shell collection, so that'll be like the last last thing. Um so really just two more besides that. <laughs> Alright, that works. There's like some loose spots I wanted to check. Here, I have a little thing pulled up. Oh, yeah, the Royal Valley has one. Okay. What's the fast way to Royal Valley? Okay. Yeah, Legend of Chicken minigame. <laughs> that is the quest. How long were we doing that? Not as long as some other Zelda minigames. I remember the first time I did the... Uh, it was the Breath of the Wild like horseback one with like the fences we had to jump like 10 fences before i got a hang of horses and really understood that you just can't gallop through everything it took me so long to get that in time because it's always panicking near the end and just doing you know unnecessary gallops to just miss the fences so not an accident all right it's this one where it says royal valleys up north but really you can't get there through there You have to go through the castle section. Which is why I kept forgetting how to get there for the longest time. Is it through the, uh... It's probably through the, uh... Yeah. Doesn't matter which way. Ladder's cool. Fast charge. <laughs> Really like no fast warp here, just gotta do it again. Yep. And I don't think there's any more fuses here, I can check. Cause I I looked it up and there are like the random fuses, which is interesting. Um, so I wanna say I checked everyone for that. In terms of kinstone fuses, there's a hundred in the game. Um, 18 of them are random ones though. So they can be randomly assigned to anyone. Usually the lesser important stuff, but yeah, those exist. Every playthrough is randomized. Minish cap randomizer. What for? It already is. So I'm not really being fancy with moves right now. Just trying to fancily get through the game. Yeah. Blech. Blech. Let's order. Get out. Oh. Is this one randomized? I don't remember. I thought it was, but I think it's not. Up left. Up left left. And we got the hidden shells in here too. Through a Dompy's little riddle. Up left left up. I tried to roll past them, but it was a little close. Bye bye sign. <laughs> I can't read it. Up left left up. Up left left up right. Up, left, left, up. Ta da! <laughs> okay, apparently, I checked. I thought I checked all these graves, but I guess I didn't. Brother, yeah, I, I remember you did. Guess we just didn't push that one. I thought we pushed them all. But I guess fine, because we wouldn't have been able to come here without the four sword. So maybe we did, but then I saw the four sword. Either or. It's like one of two four sword things to do. Pre-castle. Oh wait, no, it's not four sword, it's three sword. <laughs> Oops. So never mind, we we did. Oh wait, my main body isn't on it. Uh -huh. Wait, no, then we probably didn't see this. Yeah. 
Forgot. Blessing and a curse. <laughs> we just clipped through. My ghost picked it up. Okay, leaves just one more before the final one from the figurine. Um, but kinstone wise, eh. La, la, la. Most like NPCs. Mostly I'm just going to check people in town because animals count. So. Yeah. Checking everyone in town should be really good. What we need to do. Oh my god, yeah. We did this grave. This ghost person. It, it, they shouldn't have more. Nope. Make yourself feel at home. Right here. Oh, you got a skeleton right there. Okay. Dead best friend. Mm. So say I'm your favorite Legend Zelda YouTuber because you love the creativity and awesome editing video I do. Thank you. I uh, I love putting the challenges together in fun ways. With, uh, yeah. Usually take a lot of editing work, but I'm glad you like that. And uh, it's very fun. Like, I never really want to outsource my editing for like my main projects because I appreciate you know, I guess just playing through a run, then editing it in a stylized way that fits my experience. So, it is fun all around. Okay, Dompy has nothing. <laughs> so, that means that no one here has anything. So, I have 100% of this area. For sure this time. No going back. Yep. <laughs> so, the final one, um, I have a couple places to check for it, but I think my most likely is in Minish Woods. Which we checked this town recently for Pinstone, and there was no more. Also, we did the, the bottle quest for all the Pictolite that we'll never use, but 100%. I think it's by the wing crest to the left and up. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I did not do that. Can't count on it, though, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because when we first went here, uh, I didn't think to go across the water. Well, because we couldn't. We didn't have the flippers. But I'm pretty sure I didn't go in here. I did not. Okay. So this is where the final heart piece is in this grander area. <laughs> Always see it, never do. Bye bye. Chop chop. <laughs> There's our heart piece. Those ice caves. We'll manage. Uh, <laughs> cape manage. Blind fly. Oh, and flies. Uh, whoa. Uh, no. Okay, slugs. <laughs> Do your slug worst. There we go. Traction's infinite when you just skip the little traction itself. Like <laughs> fly over the wall. Okay, there we go. Just one more, and that's gotten through the shells. So, as far as we can, that is all the shell things. Okay, now we're gonna start screwing up. <laughs> no, did enough screwing up with the chicken game earlier. Can't have more screwing up. <laughs> we ran out of screw ups. Okay, for final kinstones, the last stuff I want to check in the town. Um, which I guess. Yeah. Because, like, animals count, so I can check the other cats and whatnot. And some stuff opens up after you do other things, so... There's that, too. So, for us... Do I plan on doing a Zelda randomizer soon? Um, I... Do you think randomizer stuff's neat? We did the Breath of the Wild one, and a long time ago I played a, at least a bit of an Ocarina one. It's it's fun and goofy. Um, the big thing is just modded content for Zelda. My channel has been targeted by Nintendo before in the past, so I don't know when that's okay. Because a lot of other channels are doing it now, so I think it's in the clear, but they're never very clear with when they go on their copyright strikes, and I was one of those main channels affected, so... <laughs> Kind of depends. That's why I haven't done anything modded in a very long time. So we'll see. Because, yeah, there, I know there's like 
randomizer stuff for tears and the older Zelda games too. So we'll have to see. <laughs> okay, town. It's like we gotta start from one end. I'll think about animals, think about Minish. Yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna skim out anything else. There is minish holes in these houses, so yeah, I'm literally gonna work house by house. Cause more likely in this town we check like all their places basically. Might have been a duplicate. It's only four more fuses we're finding. Still gonna hit the button regardless, even if the bubble doesn't come up. Just so it's like peace of mind, done, clear, zips off. Good. <laughs> Animals are a likely one, though. Okay. I think that just leads... No, it's here. Okay. The inn has a lot of people. Minish up above. And here. Okay. Wait, what? Just look at the pom-pom, like the white bubble. There's only four people in the whole world, but... Not hard to find the people. You know where to look. Is that good? That's good. These two houses are cleared. Um, what about the fireplace? I remember putting that out a long time ago. You have to go in this house. Which has... Oh, there is a little something. How do you get to the top, though? We must have done this before, right? Just the things we saw. Maybe we didn't. Because this house, well, this house vacant and we rented it out. Not too sure. Do I... New house. <laughs> yeah, just like the person who moved in. Down below. Synergy. <laughs> okay. Um. That's good. I can check the thingies. No, I can see Minish stuff here first. Yep, tons of Minish holes. Where the rats come from. Alright, the den of evil cats. Uh, the evil cats are gone. Yay for them. I think that just leads... No, I don't think it leads to anything there. That's just that whole underground sewer. Oh, you can go in there now. No heart piece. Yeah. We'll go out through the the way. Yeah, Minish to trade Kinstone Herald Town. I'm guessing it's gonna be either that or animals here. Because I remember seeing some animals, but I guess not all. <laughs> really, I'm very refined with Wim checking through us, so. I think it'll be fine. Remember, and at this stage, finding one left is the same as four or five. Because at the end of the day, you'll be searching for that one anyways. That you didn't get. Okay, no, there's there was no NPCs in here. But I'm, I'm refreshed, I remember. So we can just go back. Uh, I'll check the left side houses as human then. Just clear out the left side, like left of the river town. And we'll go to the right. We'll go back inside to speak with him as human. The postal people should be fine. Wait, can I have stairs? Too steep. Break all my minish bones. Little Dr. Wright. You're in there. Okay. All good. Or wait. Can I go down? Yeah, where's the dog? Maybe he went away after the thing. I forgot about that. Okay, we'll do everything we can to Minish and then recheck those same places human. It's gonna be like one area that's clumped. Okay, ducky is gone. There was a little ducky, but we fused with him. <laughs> My place now. 
bridge should be able to be crossed. <laughs> Slow startup. Makes sense. We can go like anywhere. That's nice. We did the minish. Yeah. Oh, it could be one of the. Oh, no. Right, right, right. They're evil. Hostile. <laughs> the one other chick was good, but not you guys. Wait, are you sure? Yep. They're all. They all think I'm feed. See, looking back in past comments, I can't wait to Wind Waker HD since you never got to play the game yourself. It's very fun. I It's been years, personally. Also, I wish I was a whole because it makes sense. Um, but it'll be my first time 100%ing it, doing all the islands and heart pieces, which will be very fun. And uh, hero mode, too. Extra bit of challenge. Keep it deathless, who knows? Or the next house. <laughs> Link is a chick magnet. <laughs> a little too much magnetism. Just death magnet. Ow! Right! And and the cat. Cats will do that. How much hearts was that? Oh, three quarters of a heart, specifically. Like, interesting. Right, we did the book return. Dodge! <laughs> oh. <Whoop. laughs> a little yarn ball. Chicks and cats. Hi, doggy. Doggy, nice. Okay, that, that's good. Um, you can also check whole manage for things, too. I believe the backside was just for a heart piece? It indeed was. Because you have to flip to big size just for the piece and then small to get back out. Here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, right. Little steams. It's likely. We're still gonna mash the kinstone button in case it doesn't come up naturally. There's two sides to this. So. Easy. Oh wait, I'm not gonna fall because it will just fall randomly. Good escape route though. And you? Okay. See? It's not that we're not making progress, we're making progress to find that final one. Again, it doesn't matter if we have four left or one. We'll be having to check every single one anyways, so we'll come across it by default. The only benefit of only having one left is you might find it halfway through your search. Or four left, you'll probably find it very deep into your search, the last one. Um, I didn't really miss anything now. I, okay, the inn is next. Gotta cross the bridge to see it. But this side is cleared. Also, if I make a Legend of Zelda game, what would I make it take place in? Like, what would it be about? Um. I like Zelda games because they're very surprising and every single game is a totally different era or concept. So, developing one of those concepts is hard. See, the thing is that my answer for the longest time would have been a game like Breath of the Wild. Because the reason why I love Breath of the Wild so much is it's loosely kind of what I always wanted from the series. To be like, it would be really cool if a game was like that, you know, just really open and free and just kind of double down on that aspect of Zelda. Um, so now that we have that, it's like... I don't even know what I want. I'm just excited for what we have and to replay them in different ways and also just seeing what we get in the future. Um, yeah, like, so many areas have been explored. Like, we explored the skies, we explored, you know, the depths. Just a whole different perspective on Zelda. Um, so that's something that I'll have to cook about. Yeah, I just know that Breath of the Wild ask formula was like what I, my answer would have been pre that game coming out. Yeah. 
Right, it's just for that. Okay. Kind of good to know just for that, because then we, we know. <laughs> but I, I have a feeling at least one of them is in the town. And then I'm going to check the loose minish holes around the world for the rest of them. That's where that commonly missed stuff typically is. The little holes. Um, also the sky people. I'm gonna, I want to recheck with them too. There's a lot of things, personally. Some of them are chain events. Can still might open a path to an NPC. That makes sense. But it's like, the nets is perfect. So, it's two for one. It's not like we'll have to recheck all these people again. At least at this stage in the game. Because everything should be unlocked. Just finding where those random ones are. I know it's possible that one person could have the same one twice. Not sure exactly how that works, but I know it's a thing. Also, it's the carpenter's house. Sorry, I'm like trying to find out my way back. Um, there was one on the left side. Well, in terms of ones I can access through here, we checked everything, I believe. A little silly ghost. I know there's like stuff, yeah, the shoemaker's house has a minish thing inside. So in terms of like all the minish ones we axed from the outside, we're good. So, I'll check. No worries. And I'm gonna start from this side and... Oh wait. One thing. There was a cat on the bridge. You know, but the cat was gone, so the minish thing's gone, right? Yeah. But I remember that having a kin Okay, never mind. We had a kinstone at one point, but we did the kinstone. I know for the NPCs with random ones, if they go away, then it does move to someone else, but at this stage in the game, NPCs aren't changing paths like that. Like certain story events will make a change, like uh, I know the King of Hyrule can have a Kingstone piece, but after he turns to stone, then if he had a Kingstone fusion and he didn't do it, it just transfers to someone else. So. Easy checks. Uh, Pharaoh should not have one. Pharaoh. Dinrel shouldn't have one either. There should not be another one here. Full collection. Woohoo. Professor. <laughs> what are you stamping? No more people, just books. Book army. So that's. Always throws me off. It's like. <laughs> little backyard garden. Not a secret, just garden. Also the library! Wait, can I not get there from here? Or can you not go back to it? I think the library is an area that closes off, so... One less place to check. I guess. Optimism. We checked the school a billion times, but... Was there another... F there wasn't another floor, it was just... That? Yep, okay, we're good. Not even gonna bother, because we did it like a billion times. Mayor. Okay, this has a kinstone. Did we check this recently? Maybe. Okay, just to do it all at once. So no, we're good. Dip da do. Mm -hmm. Both. Thank you. I'm pretty sure. We'll check the Shoemaker Sauce too, which also has a Minish thing. Because it's possible in the Minish area I have one. We now know. <laughs> Favorite Zelda game, Tears of the, or Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. You could clump them together. But I'll just say Breath of the Wild for having the most longing impact in my life. And being like the game that started obviously all that. We're, you know, again, I can't fully rank it because the way I see it is that for every like five cool things that Tears of the Kingdom does over Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild still has like one awesome thing that sets it apart. So, like all the little changes to Tears and tweaks and the view system and builds is cool. 
But Breath of the Wild it has those really unique locations that, that just stand out to its own game. Like, yeah, sure, Call Citadel's in tears, but it's so much cooler and more impactful in Breath of the Wild. Same with the castle, it's very cool in tears, but the impact of in Breath of the Wild with the turrets and the calamity, just unmatched, you know? So stuff like that. It just really makes me love Breath of the Wild. Go. And yeah, very refreshing too. <laughs> Tears doubled down, but yeah, the OG is that for a reason. Can we check all these rooms too? Yeah, that's that. That's that's a wrap. No one went in the rooms. Nope. <laughs> Did my name come from the Croton plant? It's funny because I didn't even know about that plant until like a couple years ago when. Someone mentioned it because they're like, hey, Quoton's actually a ward and it's a plant. And I'm like, oh, neat. <laughs> Which I looked them up and they're, they're pretty cool plants. But no, it was just a name I assumed that I, or a ward that I assume I made up because it sounded cool. But most wards are already made up by someone because all wards are made up. I make up wards all the time to fit a situation. <laughs> Mash that button, mash that button. I don't think guards ever have kinstones, do they? Which makes sense, they're just guards. Their duties are more focused. Less fun. Sorry, Din. Shopkeep's not gonna have one. Yeah, we, we talked to him from the other side. Those are two sides to him. Different things. Which not? Mr. Gamble, no. I'm checking everything. No stone unturned. Can we go through everyone? Possibly. And we did. No more kin stones, but those are tasty pastries and a good croissant. Beetle, hello. <laughs> All of our classics. All right, we'll get that after the figurines, which we'll do after. But this is the hardest part. We're checked some of these houses re kind of recently. Not this one. And there's Minish in here. So the dual opportunity of uh, the spokesperson. You. 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 No. <laughs> Back here? No. Bad. How many kinstones do I have left? I have four. It's always been four. Uh, just <laughs> a struggle, some four left. But really, it's just like once we find it, we find it and it's good and bam, bam, bam. The crazy part is just. Uh -oh. Is it a swordsman? See, maybe I'm missing another hidden scroll, but I don't think so, because some of them are just upgrades, so I didn't know. Um, but for some of them, yeah, you have to kinstone with other swordsmen, but I believe I got all those. Um, you know where some of them may be, but it's, it's okay if you just tell me, that's fine. At this point, just we're finishing it out, so. Only so much running around you can do, you know? Also, yeah, you can only get that house from the Minish, okay. Just a bunch of chickens that kill you. Not good. Um, yeah, that's that's good, all right? That's wraps. Did the library, we did that. That's, I believe we just checked everything. Okay, so now we know where it's not. I didn't miss anything, nope. Um. So in terms of good places to check next, where would we have? Where would we be? I know about several Minish holes. Um, I'm gonna start with South Hyrule Field. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Um, the Wind People. That's a good one. There's a lot of Wind People. So I said that next. <laughs> 
Okay, Minish Woods, uh, the one where you have to use the flippers. There's like four of them. I got two. And that's where the big, like, heart container one was. But I didn't think there was four. I could go back. That's totally fine. But when I went back right afterwards, it didn't show anything, so... I assume not, but... <laughs> to Skypea. <laughs> go to the Verth. Oh my god. Everything's a One Piece reference. I, I love Sky stuff a lot, though. Not many Zelda games. This one... Um... Twilight Princess has the Sky Temple, that's cool. And then I got the yeah, obviously Tear Sky stuff. And Skyward Sword has Sky stuff. Clearly. Okay, they're all checked. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I did anyways, but... Nice to triple check. This leads to the temple where we got everything. So you know, birds, take me home. <laughs> but I'll say that bird couldn't listen. That just proves they're beneath parrots. But they're not. <laughs> mm. There is a fusion. It's cracking the ground at Mount Crenel near the vine grown with mineral water. So probably at the base then. Okay, if it becomes available later, then that's likely what we missed. Also, no more sky people here, so. Checked, good. We'll check that one, though. Go to, go to, you. Uh, we'll just go down. Yeah, so the ones with cracks are pretty likely, honestly. Because, yeah. As far as I know, Minish Village in that area should be good. But we can recheck those. It's not like a, we did some stuff there recently. So, in case they had duplicate fuses, we had to come back after time. There's just like a couple of people I know I want to check. Okay, crack in the ground. I know, up oh, here maybe? Chuck. A lot of cracks in the ground are Minish stuff. Or Minish people, not just Minish us. Yeah? Aha! Good one, thank you. That's one of them. Yes. <laughs> later fusion, probably later area. Or not, it's okay. Still, nice. Well, thank you. That leaves us with three. Some odd cracks are probably likely. I should look up a map of all the cracks, you know? Really crack the system apart. Awesome, what was here? I genuinely don't remember. And not many are like that. Was it just to get up? Oh. Oh, it was, it was a thingy. For a thingy. Uh, okay. Yay. Next one. Where was I originally gonna go? One second. Let me let me think. Yoink. Um I don't There was a hole somewhere. Lake Hylia had some holes. This area had holes. I'm gonna look up a map. Um one second. Minish cap crack whole map. Is that a thing? I'll put it on stream if I find it. I mean, my search was pretty vague. Minish cap cracked whole map. I thought someone would have made one. Yep, Minish cap. Real concept art. They almost made it in. Um, I have a couple places. You know, first let's check the town stuff, because I want to make sure. And I'm going to check that one that's in the Minish area. And we originally showed uh, the Tears trailer where Link is falling. 
And if you got excited, there was maybe a new Skyward Sword. <laughs> Aw. Well, hopefully not heartbroken for too long, because Tears was pretty awesome. So, oops. That was not the bridge. <laughs> but yeah, love Skyward Sword. A ton. It's nice for Breath of the Wild to get a sequel. May not be Skyward Sword, but it's Skyward Wild. Yeah, <laughs> go with that. Also, I know you're fine. I really have to double check, though. Also, the Minish could have more, I just realized. It's honestly a better chance that he's gonna have one than like a whole town of Minish will have one. Just with my luck. Could be one of those random ones, you know? There's only run on YouTube. Um, if any of you guys know the answer to a question, feel free to answer it if it's something we just talked about. Because um, I, I know that happens. And the confusion's okay too because most of my challenge runs are on Twitch. I just, this is. Zone Run will be unique for YouTube because it'll be like a full length playthrough challenge run. So much to it. So it makes sense to have that as our Wednesday series. Because we always have a Wednesday series. One the little nerd guy glasses. This won't be that bad though. Right, okay, we're gonna check this main spot I wanted to. First one. Okay, really no more. So just the two that I remember. Or that I looked up. <laughs> Wait, I'll still check here. Cracked hole again. I'm gonna check with Malari at the mine. Yeah, next stream is Wednesday with that zoning run. For a side Zelda game, uh, nothing upcoming. Uh, I put in the pinned comment that it will be Wind Waker HD. We'll do the hero mode, 100%. Um, but not in the next couple weeks. We're going to be focusing on that zone I run and some other side videos. Because um, I will be getting a new video this weekend. So I've been working on it for a bit. And I had delayed a little bit because I was sick for a bit. And yeah, it'll be finally going up. So between focusing on other videos and the zone I run for the first couple weeks, that'll be the focus. And yeah. <laughs> Eventually, we'll do that when we make HD soon. It just is never like a every single week thing with our side Zelda game. But more than likely, it'll probably be the same like Wednesdays during the day. Not too sure, so I don't want to confirm anything. Um, just works best in my schedule. When I do weekend streams, it's usually uh, for the challenge on weekends. So. We went in this house. We did. I'm, I'm very... <laughs> yes, we went in this house. Okay, I'm going in circles. I think we're good besides the very bottom right house, son. <laughs> it's maze-like. I, I love it. It's, it's so great. We went in all three, right? I'm going crazy. Okay. We definitely did, but now we guarantee it. <laughs> No more. No more, guys. See? End of an era. Barrel house. We did the barrel house, so we're good. Everything good here. Let's go back to the mountain. Let's talk to Malari. Uh, Malari might have something. Hardest village to escape. There's no escaping Minish Village. All right, no, the doctors exist to get back up safely. <laughs> Are you sure you went to the three houses in the center? Stop. <laughs> oh, man. I, I keep gravitating to those there and checking them all the time. 
just it's a, it's a focal point but not really it's just they're so off that you feel like you missed them oh did i do the deku ones i think so maybe maybe not <laughs> deku yeah perchance <laughs> I don't know. I, I did things with Dagos before. Okay, two are supposed to be done after a game, but it can be done before. Wait, so can we not do all... Like... Sorry, let me phrase it differently. Um, is it possible to do all Kinstones before being the game? Because I know some things you have to go back for. I know the thing with the big orn you have to go back, but that's not a Kinstone. Um, and apparently there's another item too like that, but... Is it possible to do all kinstones before the castle and body? That would be helpful. Um, time is next stream. Uh, Wednesday streams are 6 p.m. Eastern, like always. Um, these streams are earlier, so noon Eastern. Yeah, the only consistent series will always be Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Because... With my schedule, I don't want to have too many guaranteed stream days, and then it's, uh, well, it wouldn't work well with my schedule, I guess. But yeah, it's always the one guaranteed day, and then for other streams, we'll announce at least a day, sometimes a week in advance. Malari does not have another one. Okay. We're going to go down into the mountain hole again and check that one Minish, because I think you have to leave the area and come back. Make sure you won't have a duplicate. Also for tears, how common is Zona gear to get? Did we? I did, and just fused a bunch of stuff and didn't bother with the Zona equipment. Um, specific areas, so Zona esque areas, so um, dungeon segments, just like all Zona weapons, basically. Um, the mazes too, just tons of good stuff. Like you can get pretty much all like the tier three Zona loot from the mazes, so that's really handy. Um, the sky and then shrines. Because in Breath of the Wild, I noticed the shrine that's a bit more open. You can find more regional stuff, but they really try to keep the themed in this game. So, current only weapons and shrines are his only weapons for tears. And then, like, rupees and potions. So, that's why we're doing all shrines in the run, because it makes sense. Actually helps with the progression and, you know, accessibility. Oh, art, whatever. Weapons, yeah. Try to find a different word for it. Yeah, so more shrines, more objective, getting that final zone sets, and then, yeah, more weapons too. <laughs> Just check him once more. He does not. Random fuses. I, I don't know if you can just leave the area and come back or what, but now we know he's he's clear. He's good. How? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can actually get the Kinstone thing. Oh, that's part of it. Yeah, <laughs> I might as well get the chest. Like, how easy is that? Very. I couldn't start that with that. I was just so. Yeah. Ooh, big one. That's like thirty more shells. And that was just for the. I think it was a heart piece cave. That one's more clear though. Yeah. Okay, we have three more fusions. Um, yeah, if there's any commonly missed ones, and if you happen to remember, let me know. Because that suggestion was helpful. Yeah, let me out, let me out, let me out. We did the mine. Um, Royal Valley is good. It's got to be odd holes, um, and then like little huts. So I'm gonna check the eastern, not eastern hills, well, wherever the cows are. La Lam Ranch, yeah. I think the cows will help us. But I remember some holes being over here. Check to see if Smith had a second fusion. I might have, but maybe not as deep into the game as I should have been. I remember there's a hole over here, so I'm finding the holes. <laughs> All right, you can... Oh, but I'm not trying to do that. I actually need to take this across, I believe. 
you do it like that, right away you can get back up. I think there was a hole here. Yeah, there was. But it was not a minish one. Okay. Sometimes it's just that. It's dangerous because I really thought I would be closer. But yeah, if it's one duplicate fuse. Yeah, unless some unlock late, I'm just not sure. We'll, we'll check Smith. Um, we'll go to that now. If I see any holes, I remember Lake Hylia has some, so it's not a bad spot to check. Single guys have no more. Goron shouldn't have more. But they have that one, so unless that one just keeps getting another one. So it's possible that there's another Goron one. Okay, cleared. So like that mental map clearing. So they really are just artists in those loose holes. For Deku's, which I don't know if there's a pattern of finding them. Also some houses on the west side, like by Western Wood. Animals, animals, animals too. That's a thing. I think we checked Syrup's house recently. Yeah, we definitely did when he got the red potions. <laughs> the Link's Awakening music. The references to past games. It's an old Zelda game, but there's so many older ones before that. We already got to the point where when this came out, the series was already, like, huge. Yeah. It was, like, the... Eighth or ninth game, so... It's pretty good for a series, honestly. But now it's in, like, the 20s, so it's, like... Super series. So hello, looking for kinstones. I am. It's only three, but we fully cleared off the town. We know no, none's there. None's in Minish Woods or Minish Town, <laughs> and none's in Malari Mine. Oh yes! Oh my God! I didn't even bother seeing what it was. <gasps> I could check scrub locations. I think that's actually maybe what we should be doing. And there we go! Two left! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look up all scrub locations. Next. Or well, Smith first, then scrub. Maybe that. Maybe check that right away. I think that might lead to another one. Okay. Bye bye, bushes. <laughs> Super spin. <laughs> the most anime move one can do. All right. Love that from Wind Waker, though. I think the only two games with that. Okay, first we'll check Mr. Smith. All right? Yeah, we don't need to go back there. Or do we? I think we did this. Pretty sure. We indeed did. Like, like. Don't like, like that. Okay. Smithy. I have warp right there, so I might as well. Into it. Check the wind people. But I have decent hopes for that one. I think that's a heart piece one. Yes. <laughs> Remembering it. Not because the first time I did it, but the next five times I rewalked in there. <laughs> Which made me stop. Here, right? Check once more, but I think we're... Oh my god! What? He had another one! Oh. Yeah, it's a special one. Okay. Well, that leaves us with one! Well, literally back to back. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Those must have opened up very late. So I remember checking at some point again. And no. And so the random ones. Okay, okay. So one more. If that one Deku scrub one leads to another scrub, that'll be awesome. But yeah, now we're at the boat of finding that last one. But unless it led to another one, then that's peak. 
Wait, no. Up. Oh. Mine reset. It's here. Yes. Top left. A lot of holes. That would actually be a lot faster than I thought it was going to take, so... I will take that. <laughs> let me out, let me out. Here. And then it'll let me down, right? Gently. Thank you. I love the variations of the field theme. Take the lily pad or I think so. Oh wait, no, it's the pass. So yeah, take the lily pad. Or not. Please let there be a thing to grab onto. I swim up. Thank you. <laughs> Check this one first. What did we get in here? It wasn't the bow. It's like, was it one of the gold kinstones? Was that what it was in? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't lead to another kinstone. Or it does, but not a fusion. Just stuff it in the bag. Never be seen again. And then there's the other reward too, but um, so I guess it means for us. Well, we'll check that other hole because I don't remember, and they tend to have good stuff. I can't. No, I can't. I'm gonna look up a map of all Deku scrubs. No, that was just one of those. <laughs> After Kinstone's gotcha addiction time. <laughs> Luckily, I have a very good strategy. We have like 20 of them left, but I I know how to do it in like a quarter of the time easily. Involves a bit of gambling, but controlled gambling to maximize probability in time in a very special way that I'm going to trademark. Not really, but uh, pride. Did I get the second? A heady gurdy man? Who's that again? Sorry. <laughs> Silly Zelda names. Also unrelated, but I never appreciated how cool the pixel art is when you're just standing on one. It's like Super Saiyan Link, just golden locks flowing with the lighting. Just normal, cool, powered, <laughs> enchanted. That's actually really cool. I never like appreciated that because I just pressed the button right away. What's the animation's fun? Okay, uh, I'm gonna look at the map of all the Deku's though. Oh, the first guy he fused with? Yeah, and the, we checked everyone again in the town, so that is all good. Let's see, a map of all of the, um, map of all, I'll, I'll put it up on screen when it's done. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> One second, I apologize. Deku scrubs. All Deku scrubs, Minish Cap. Listen to this awesome music. Okay, it's giving me odd things. I have a VPN, so I can't go on Reddit, which is nice. Because it thinks I'm doing bad things. Okay. Um, well, this isn't helping. <laughs> You would think like Deku Scrub's location would be a thing, but it's it's not. Yeah. Business Scrub Kinstone pieces. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. No. You'd think like people need better maps of this, especially considering how hard it is to 100%. It just gave me like race info, like DeviantArt, okay, like, but, mm, uh, maybe I'll take a scrub locations, honestly. The business scrub. You know, it's, or maybe, yeah, I'll admit business scrub, but maybe that's why I'm.
Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Minish Woods is a kinstone. Caster Wilds, Mount Crenel. Okay, um, a map would be cool. But this is the closest we got it. One second. Sorry, I take my glasses off for a second because they were compressing on my face funny. Um, also, the music reminds me of the area outside the Deku Temple in Majora's Mask. Yeah! Okay, especially like swamp, green water. Um. Well. Right, the random kinstones could be too. Yeah, all business scrubs have one, so it's possible that I just forgot one from one. Covering a tree in Minish Woods. Okay, so that's one we just did. Um, so, the Caster Wild one we did because we did the Minish one. So, those are go together. Because you have to fuse with that one to get that one. Um, Mount Krennel Deku. I dropped my glasses. I'm close. Or we'll start with the early ones because I feel like I would have missed it earlier on. So North Hyrule Field, that's beginning of the game. Here. I'm going to have it up on my end, but then the game on everyone else's. Uh, pretty sure you know what the last one is if you want me to say it. Definitely. At this point, it's finding it in any ways glory in itself. So. The North Hyrule one, we'll, we'll start with Tribbly Highlands, though, just in case. Which is towards the left. Got a lot of stuff. Appreciate all the help. Uh, I mean, for most of 100% in this game, like, things flow very naturally, so you can do just so much, just without a guide, you're just, you know, always wearing those last couple things you couldn't go to, or keep finding new things you can go to. So it's very fluid, so whole 100% process is very fun, but naturally there's always that end point. And that's where we're at. So I think we hit, like, the last 10 kinstones before we started needing help with them. Uh, Got like the last two heart containers before you help with those. So again, once again, a Minish and crack in the ground, but he's in North Hyrule Field. Really? I I'm gonna prioritize that. If not, then we'll go back. But it's definitely possible I missed that. Is that like a guaranteed one or one of the random ones? I think the crack was on the right side, right? You know where it is. Here? Yeah, I see the crack. Cut, cut first. <laughs> Increasing the luck. <laughs> yeah. This is it. The final kinstone. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, thank you! So it was probably one of the guaranteed ones. Or I'm not sure if those can be random, but it makes sense maybe not. I assume it's like the worst ones that are random. Either way, that's it. Thank you so much. That is awesome. It's guaranteed, but the fusion he has isn't available till later. Ah, gotcha. And of course, it's this one, which is super easy to come back to. Totally. But that's it. All fuses are done. Not just the rewards. <laughs> okay, so we weren't just searching for a random one, which is good to know. We cleared out a lot, but... Yeah, business scrub... Or, who was it all? It was the business scrub, it was, um, the smith, that guy, and then, what was the other whole minish we fought? I don't remember. We literally did it today. What's, what's the fourth one? What we just did. We checked a lot of people, I'm gonna be honest. It was the first of four we found. Oh, yeah, it was the minish in the, uh, the mountain hole. Double check if that's all. That I certainly will. Mm -hmm. Do like the golden ticket run back to Tingle. I did all the can stones. I should have Pegasus boots, but I'm 
Pegasus pressing that. Oh, nice roll. <laughs> All these loose kin stones, too. It's like, just give them back to Tingle. I don't need them. Everyone's happy and traded. Next one? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> okay, to say his piece first. Use each and every last kinstone. Way to go. Clay. Tingle? Tingle trophy. Oh my god, it's one of the trophies. Thought they were just in Wind Waker. That's so funny. Wait, does that take the spot? Oh yeah, because we don't need kinstone. Oh, it's like the type of bag. It's like one of those elaborate piggy banks, but it, you just open up like the head or something. And just the remnants of, yep, you did this thing. Congratulations. Almost all in double digits, too. They give you so many extras. But of course, you have all the extras, but still occasionally run out of like one quantity you need. But yeah, that's it. All kinstones done. Uh, almost all heart pieces done. We just need the one last heart piece. Um, in the trading. But of course, first we'll open up the, the chest for the kinstones. Um, so we did the first two, but there was... One in Wind Ruins. And then one in one of the hill areas. Oh, that's kind of like the start of Wind Ruins. That's fine. We will be opening these first. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, watching and just staying tuned with the series because, well, not super long. I think at the start today, it was only like 21 hours total. So we'll finish before 25, which can't say it with a lot of other Zelda games. 100%ing it in under 25 hours. But I think the 2D games don't ask for that. It's like very quaint to itself. Um, doesn't really waste any time besides the last minute 100%ing stuff. Yeah, the whole action was just very fast and fun, and I really love this one. I'm glad I revisited. It was worth it. <laughs> All thanks to a spontaneous recommendation from a, a Tears of the Kingdom stream. Yay! Something useful for the final part. <laughs> Extremely. I'm... Oh, it's like I want to get that final chest, but... Is it going to be 200 shells and we'll waste some? Let's do the gotcha, and then we'll get it once we run out. But I, I think it's... Because it'll be the final one. I just don't want to waste, like, 30 of those shells, because that's... You know? need every last one for what's up ahead. So where was it? There it is. Okay, Tripoli Highland. So, yeah, just right next to the town. Just take a left from the place where we'll be for the next little bit. And by little bit, I really mean little bit. Because... I have this figured out. Mr. Gamble? Yes. So you can do the way of neural probability and just keep milking it and one after the other and then it gets really hard using up the rest of the shells. But we have like 20 some left. Um, so there's no real like, I guess, special gameplay about it rather than gambling. We're gonna try to make those odds a little bit better. Um, with a little bit of saves, not cheats. Of course not. So, we have a bunch of shells, right? This is the plan that I came up with to turn a two hour process into a 20 minute one, maybe. Maybe. But we still get to see all the cool stuff. So, more condensed, the cool stuff. We're gonna pull a create suspend point. And we're gonna do it. Hmm. Am I in the menu right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Create spend point just on the first one. Create, create. And to maximize efficiency and less shell waste. Try for another one, trade. Again, if I just did the one strategy, if you're not using save states, probably the best way until you get to like single digits, as was said. Um, but for this, a good balance of the shells that we have left and what we're doing. 
we pull. If it's good, we keep it. If it's not good, we load. I don't know when the pull's calculated, if it's calculated when you're already talking or not, so. Uh, in this case, it was a boss, but it's only 50-50, so we're only failing half the pulls. So, with this method, we're doing only more like 40-ish pulls instead of so many more for everything. Why do we get the same thing? <laughs> hmm, interesting. Unless the poll is already calculated. Like me trying to internally math, matize, scientize, whatever. However it works, you know? What's the words? Internal mechanics. Systems. I wonder if it's the same probability, like it loops to the same figure each time. Interesting. See, randomizers are very weird when it comes to like coding in games. Uh, so things like that, even if it's the same and it's technically reloading and stuff like that, if it's the same probability, it might come to a similar conclusion each time. Because random things are odd. I don't even know fully how it works. I just know enough to understand that truth of it. So, how to get around it is just doing one tick of different probability could actually reset that pull. Like, it's still the same probability, but won't be this identical to other pulls in parallel times. Which sounds crazy, but... We're going for it. Unless not. I wonder why. What about like a... A 70%. It's using a lot, but... 100% would have to be the right thing, right? There, there's a certain science to it, and it's always different. Okay, for a science experiment... We're going to do all but one, 99%. I feel like there's a certain threshold where it's going to be okay. However, it's calculated. So it's not 70. It could be 71. But maybe that's how it's calculating this amongst maybe other attempts. We'll do 95. Screw it. 95 doesn't work. We'll do 99. I have to test the waters first to see kind of what's going on. Maybe it's calculated when you walk in the door. Maybe. So, I'm just going to say the safe bet's probably that way all the way up to 99. And if not, it's still close enough. But also, I want to see if I guarantee a pull. So, that that should get me something, right? Um, but if I roll, roll the save, leave the hawk, come back, then guarantee that pull again, will I get the same thing? I don't know. It feels like it's only between two separate things right now. Hmm. Now let's try this. What re-rolls the pull? Is it going to be Gibdo next time? Well, first we can just see. Let's do the same thing. Is it determined? Because this just proves that the RNG has like some sort of pattern calculation to it. It's meant to show you some sort of failure. It's green. That's a good sign. What are you determining that way? Michelin Man. Now let's try this. Maybe reload it fully. Interesting. This was an outlier. But kind of a neat one. Hmm. So now we're just going to do a 50% one again? Is it still Dark Nut? Maybe it's like the default for the first. I feel like it just goes in an order regardless. Oh, okay. So either leaving the room or the entire house. But it has some sort of like 
predisposition like lineup of what it's going to be and like s I guess some sort of weight towards that it could have just been an unlucky where you know was set like above 95% it would have to be the guarantee one um but yeah should we just keep going okay so we're going to still do the 50% thing but if it's wrong we'll reload the roll of the room we at least know that much to help our cause. Even if we can't fully understand the system. Create the spend point over it. Then we do another at 50. If it works, we keep going. If it doesn't, we reload, leave and come back, and then pull again. I didn't read the entry. Oh no, crap. I'll read it after this. Sorry. I'm sorry, I was so caught up in that. Um, I like reading the entries. I don't want to miss them. Because, yeah, I didn't know if I was going to keep it. Okay. Well, obviously. Yeah. Ignore me. My brain was in uh, mechanic space. Game mechanic space. Okay, Scissors Beetle. Minish roads and dungeons. Monsters have sharp mandibles. Hit them when they shoot these away. Avoid their attacks to get in close. Or you can jump over them like we were earlier. Which is a fun way to do it, too. Um, but yeah, for this one, it didn't work, so we leave and come back. Okay, I'm just gonna hope it's not the same, because I think leaving and come back resets it in that way. Of course, if we just pull again, then we're wasting shells, so that's the point of the reloads. But still, leave and come back. Now, what if it has an order? Will it be Simon again if we fail? Because we'll only know if we fail. I like seeing the patterns, though, because it kind of shows uh, the inner layers of the game. You know, beyond the paint. So, win could be cool, but if it's Simon again specifically. Interesting. I mean, it could have been a coincidence, but it's definitely loading into like it has some sort of preset order. So, we rolled Simon, but then, or rather, sorry. From the last trade, we left and came back, then rolled Simon, but then we loaded to. Before all of that, left and came back and then went Simon. So even after a reload, it wasn't just tr truly like randomizing its set. It had like a next thing in the set list to like be like the wrong thing. Which is probably true for the right thing too. If I rolled the right thing, then reload the thing, refresh the room, then came back, it would probably be that same right thing. So I feel like each time there's always a thing that you have and a thing that you don't have. Um, and always pick between those two for if you get the probability in your favor or don't. So that's interesting. So I feel like what means what that means. Um, what if we leave and come back twice? Will it still be Simon? I mean, we could just get it and then we won't know. We're going to that boat again. I'm just trying to get the ones I don't have, which are just a couple. Well, I guess we might know for a future one. Armos appears in Wind Ruins, built by the Minish for the Wind, wind Tribe. Always love those guys. Long ago, look like stone statues, but if you get too close, they move. I like the other ones that like hop around. And then you have to blow them up. Especially the Wind Waker ones, because they just go crazy when they're at low health, and then they blow up. Creates a spend point. Right there. But yeah. Doing the gotcha stream today, just for this final bet. We're almost there, so. And then we'll go to the castle. Almost two hours in, but I kind of figured it'll be at least two hours of, uh, 100%ing stuff, then the castle. So we're about on schedule. 
with my mental schedule. Light one. Can't fully plan things out because sometimes you're 100%ing and then spend a half hour in a chicken minigame. So, that was, it felt like a half hour. So, yes. It was fun. Okay, this time we reload. And we have more money and stuff for when we need to get more shells. That's not a problem. Ooh, Mazel. <laughs> Appears in the Wind Ruins. Yep, from Armoros to the King Armoros. Constructed by the Wind Tribe to repel intruders. Sturdy machine cannot be destroyed by external force. See? It was truly a minish thing. Because they could activate them and... It's cool, it's like a guardian type unit. Things that are meant to be good that are your enemy. Create the spend point. Yes. Mm -hmm. RNG manipulation. So much fun. Yeah, so now we got the pattern. So now it's just seeing all the cool draws. This is my favorite part. We're in the groove. The green one. Are we still missing the first entry? <laughs> missing that guy. Ah. Here's the Minish Roads come out of the ground when they sense prey. It gets swallowed, you take damage and get all dirty. And there's no showers in Zelda. When you're all dirty, pestos will come after you. Oh, I didn't realize that correlation. Makes sense, though. Okay, creates... Oh, not load. <laughs> creates a spend point. And yeah, this way, I'm doing 50% because it's a good way to maximize both time efficiency and not spending too many shells. This way we're only reloading half of them, uh, as opposed to spending more than double. So we're just going to keep running out. Then we'll have to reload gambling, which will take more. This time we leave. I don't think you have to leave and come back. It just... That one time where we spent like 95% just wasn't getting anything. I feel like there's a weird way it stacks. So maybe you're resetting how the probability stacks. So if you get it on 150%, will you get it the next time? There's something odd going on with that, but leaving and coming back seems to reset that odd probability stack. In not so simplest terms. I only, know, I only have to know what I'm saying personally, because I'm just going off of my little experiments. And then you have to test that experiment over and over, but yeah. Smith! Okay, one of the early ones. Find a swordsmith in Hyrule. Thank you for one of the final kinstone pieces earlier. As a young man, he was a great swordsman. He and King Deltas are friends. Enjoyed a pleasant rivalry as youths. They won the sword contest. Or I think the king did, right? Over him. Unless he both did different years. However, the lore states it. So now we pull again. We're already like halfway there. Almost. <laughs> Don't jump the gun. Or, yeah, almost. We got them. <laughs> Tingle siblings? Not the last one. He's just a little friend that tagged along. Okay, do that. Roll, roll, satisfying. Straight for the pole. <laughs> roll, roll, straight for the pole. Make sure I reloaded after all those. I think I did. That's... Mm... <laughs> no, not the dark notes again. <laughs> dark notes are like a curse. I just always roll dark notes. See, did we get around the odd RNG? We'll see. Yeah, if we did 100%, that's 37 plus 50, so 87 over 37. Hmm. 
See, that time we did a reload and it wasn't the same thing next time, so who knows. What if you check a description instead of exiting or open the start menu? We'll change the outcome. I'm not too sure. I. Um, well, I guess in terms of the reload, not the start menu, but leaving the place? I don't fully know. Like, I could spend so much time experimenting, but uh, then I'll feel the need to experiment with every single game's RNG system. So it's more so cool in the moment. I'm not going to spend hours on a deep dive. I'm just happy I found something that really works pretty efficiently, and we're going to use that till we get all of them. That time we're getting the same. So. This time, so it's either rupee like or not rupee like. If we fail like four times in a row, then something's up. But obviously, that can still happen, so. I wouldn't rupee like that. Oh, we have that one, though. So sometimes it's a different one, I don't know. I'm trying to find patterns that are sometimes there. Let's double leave. It doesn't matter if we single leave. Also, I don't know if you have to leave the whole thing or what. It just this seems like a proper refresh. I'm going off feel. And that's fine. Boop. Pull. Blue egg. I got myself. How handy. It was that popular to have figures of me. Wow. Weird old lady living in Percy's house with his, without his permission. <laughs> it's actually the Moblin. Doesn't want you to turn on the lights. Might actually be a... I spoiled it. <laughs> that was funny though, because you gotta wait to get the lantern, but you probably come to the house before in the game. So you're just like, yeah, she's just in there. Don't know why the guy doesn't want him there. But yeah, the lights reveal all. In her monstrous nature. <laughs> Scent. And it's a red. If it's like that, I don't mind doing a reload. Again, with the probability it's faster doing it this way than taking my chances at a 15% chance. Barely in time to reload, and it's. Yeah. I think there's like a couple capsules post game too. And apparently items. Wallmaster! Here's some dungeons. If these guys grab you, they'll send you back. <laughs> you know, always the shadows you gotta watch out for. I thought I always saw floor masters. I don't. Wall masters were somewhere. Maybe on the earlier dungeons, surprisingly. They were haunting in the, like the old 3D Zelda games. Ocarina of Time Forest Temple. Twisted Hallway. Ugh. Those always got me. And then, honestly, the Wind Waker ones were freaky, too. I mean, those are more the Floor Masters, but literally just, like, moving, like, portals on the ground and stuff. Like, ugh. <laughs> I don't know. So I always hated those. But, yeah, then they're just like, okay. <laughs> Hate them so much, removes them. Sounds like I miss them. Gini appears in Royal Valley, and they... Tongue looked at me too much earlier. That sucked. Attracted the light. And if they attack you, they may suck your life away. It literally just kept happening. Create suspend point. Now we're over halfway for sure. Full percent. Oh wait. No, but it goes all the way down to 1%. I don't remember. I have a habit of overcompensating and that type of stuff. And what do you... <laughs> it's like it was listening to us. Wallmaster, Floormaster. Sometimes they appear in pairs like that. Appears in dungeons. If these guys grab you, they'll send you back. Yes. 
Watch out when he attacks with others. I noticed that maybe that's that has to be intentional to some degree. Like when we got the Minish like armor of soldiers, right afterwards we got the boss version. So all Minish creations of the robotic sort. Okay. Always more scared of dead hand. Oh no. It sucks because that guy never rises from the ground until his hands grab you. Like the other ones. So it's like you have to get, like, had to put yourself in an awful place to even start the fight. Intentionally. Oh, right. We didn't get the big blue one. Temple of Droplets. Literally, yep. It's always the boss of the first dungeon becomes a mini boss later. In a lot of games, you just become normal enemies then. So. It's daunting while minish sized. I like that element. Really utilizing the minish aspect and perspective well. run off shells at some point. But most of our shells can do it, honestly. Yeah, we got pretty lucky there for a bit. How many shells? <laughs> Wait, if we're just at like 39... Can we make it all the way with our current? I was gonna buy some more, maybe gamble, but... If there's only saves coming we need to do, that's pretty good. Yeah, that gets us like 10 more figures and that's it. With the amount of shells that we have. Yeah, there we go. Gibdo. <laughs> Marshmallow Man. Michelin Man. Appears in the Palace of Winds. These mummies keep coming at you when you attack. Better to fight from a distance. Or you can burn off their marshmallows. Robes. Michelin Man. Isn't it funny that uh, the Michelin Tire Company has like... Also, like a food review side where they give restaurants prestigious awards and you do tires. Talk about a dual prong business for no reason. Fun life floor. I was just saving, reloading, doing amiibos on tears. Ah, so the similar boat. My least favorite save reloading is, uh, what's it called? Breath of the Wild, uh, the Twilight Link, or, sorry, Twilight Zelda amiibo for the, uh, a Twilight bow. I'm pretty sure that's like a 2% chance, uh, if you manipulate the odds in a certain way, you can get as high as, I think a 10%, but still. We know how cruel 10% odds are. From gotcha pulls earlier. Okay, right, we didn't leave. It does have a say. It's like the probability stacks when you're in there. But it resets in here. So it stacks, meaning if you did a 50% chance one time and got it, it's guaranteed to fail the next time because it's giving you the other half. At least with all these attempts, it's been seeming that way. Unless I'm just constantly on that wrong end. Yeah, video game RNG isn't always true RNG. Learning it, sometimes it's a bit conjecture, and sometimes people's different experience shapes a general community perspective that's tainted. But that just happens. We're just doing our best. I right, about the Michelin star, the food critic gig was originally a tourist recommendation pamphlet that evolved due to the popularity. I do remember reading something on that about how like the Michelin star started. Because yeah, in that tourist pamphlet, they're like, oh yeah, if you're going places and stuff. Yeah, like here's food recommendations and, and people really started to take those seriously. Um, so kind of evolved from that. You just unintentionally fall, just fill in the niche and own it. So that's what they did. Go them. Just, it just 
felt like it was gonna be Moblin again. I just, I just feel it. Does it work? Then we'll go in twice. <laughs> <laughs> An egg. Yay. Postman stamp. <laughs> stamp stamps for stamps. Busy, hardworking postal employee, although it can be a touch edgy. Stamp he uses is his own personal one, so please don't borrow it. Thanks. It's number 11. Okay. Create spend point. Just keep going. We're doing great. Yeah. So yes, again, as far as I know, this is the first 2D Zelda game. I'm 100%ing. Which, yeah, that's true. Because I don't think I got around to 100%ing Link's Awakening. Let's switch one. I was going to. We did it on a stream, and it's on the VODs channel. But I just don't think we got around to 100%ing that, nor did I on my, on my original playthrough. So, yeah. I'll see. I still know number one figurine. Nope. We can't be number one. Let's see, I think it was possible to get the drop back to back without going outside. Who knows? And for Tears of the Kingdom, at least you can get the Dusk Bow for free every Blood Moon. That's true. It's not nearly as cool, but. Oh! <gasps> Sorry, I think I was just listening to us. Capless Croton. I'm glad I named myself Croton because it's a nice alliteration for the first one. Capless Crow. Cap Crow. Young boy lives in Hyrule. He is close friends with Princess Zelda. Which I guess makes sense because it's like he came before him and Ezlo, so. <laughs> now we got it. That's cool. That's one of the last ones, ironically. But it's going really fast ever since we got in the groove. Yep, we're doing good. What's it saying? Yeah, Duskbow and Tears is still cool because I believe it still has enhanced range and bow fire speed. Or not fire, maybe arrow travel speed. I, I forgot what the exact stats are because it's different now. Because it's not light arrows. Um, still very cool though. And I, it's funny that you say that because I have not gotten it in forever. Like I kind of forgot about it for months. 100% <laughs> playthrough is now finished though, so. Honestly, I probably would have gotten it next stream a thousand times, but we finished a playthrough. So, <laughs> next, next playthrough. Yeah. It's cool knowing where, like, really special loot is um, from a first playthrough, because that second playthrough is really special, because you can really, you know, pursue that from an earlier point and pursue interesting things. I was talking about it before, but, uh, much as I love a first playthrough of the game, second playthrough is almost just as amazing. Because the first time it's like you really just, you know, relish in the beauty of exploring everything for the first time. And you're always wondering, like, what's next? So that's where your mind is. Uh, split between that and in the moment and learning and stuff. Uh, but since you know what's coming ahead, you're really just absorbed in the moment for a second playthrough. So that's why I really like that one. Just doing that and replaying stuff, it's like... Yeah, I know loosely what's ahead. I remember really liking it, but re-experiencing and actually fully taking that in in that different way is just awesome. So that's why I take it. Because there's things you can't take in the first time because you're just so overwhelmed by everything. Even if it's a good overwhelm. So yeah. I like that. And then also, for the sake of knowing where some stuff is, and then it's like you to double down with that, use it sooner. <laughs> Quick stop talking about figurines we don't have yet since the game's listening to us. Oh man. <laughs> Using some telepathic abilities here to go from my Switch to my PC. Well, I guess my PC's already reading. Rollabite. You guys didn't say that. Ha ha. ha. Uh, appears in dungeons. His hard shell protects from swords. When the rolls into a ball, you can use the gust jar. 
It's like half bolded, but it's just like brown text, which is like never used in this, I feel. So, who knows. Great suspend point. Figure machine seems like it could be a question in my statistics exam. <laughs> Next question, long answer. Explain the long inner workings of it. Oh boy. <laughs> Another capsule. Time to eat. It's him! <laughs> it's like I'm just looking at him. He was like burned into my retinas already and then just appears there. It's like, is this mental burning? <laughs> oh, so yeah, blue text. A sculptor finally crafted figurines in blue. Many consider him to be the best sculptor in all Hyrule. Oh. Enjoys collecting shells. Yeah. Feeding into his collection to buy his wares. In gambling style. Create suspend. Okay. We really just have a couple more now. Um, Want to try another drawing? We're going to trade the exact same amount. that amount. Okay. I, I think we'll just have just enough so we won't have to gamble, which is cool. Well, we're time... We're technically still gambling. Nah. Okay. Nothing from that one. If this one doesn't work, then we'll leave and rejoin. I think as soon as it's a 1% probability, then that's good. Ish. I'm mean, not really letting that soak in that he made a figure of himself. It's okay. Hey, everything. He's making about the world, and he's part of the world, too. He fills his own void with that. Must get lonely down here. Wait, what did you say? Sorry, I'm... Oh, I thought you said want to try for the last figure. It just My mind was, like, making up words to appease my hopes. Lost one. Yeah, we're here. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, but after this is going straight to the castle in finale, so the pacing will pick up in an instant when it does. Gustav Royal Spirit. Spirit of an ancient king of Hyrule who wishes to secure peace in his land. Beyond the grave. Very fond of the people of the Wind Tribe. That's cool. <laughs> an old legend coming to help you halfway through the game. Yeah, it leads us to the Royal Crypt, which... But I've also seen his graveyard in a Zelda game, come to think of it. Uh, there's like a small one in Kakariko, in Breath of the Wild Tears. Barely prominent, though. Well, well, I guess the entirety of Hyrule is a graveyard in Breath of the Wild, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Oops. In past games, yeah, you meet occasional spirits in graveyards and what whatnot. But Breath of the Wild, they're already dead, so... <laughs> Oops. Appears in dungeons, spark. They cling to walls, move quickly. Normal text may not work, but the boomerang's pretty effective. Oh. So it does tell you about the boomerang. Trick. I thought that just had to be, like, past handed down knowledge from Zelda games. Which still is. Are most people going to see that figure? No. <laughs> most people don't have that sort of patience as I. But we're working through it. Almost the end of the gotcha, then it's final dungeon and boss. There's a lot of stuff to try out. I know we it was mostly a lot of exploring for the hundred percent stuff and this gotcha pulling. But yeah, I love all the items we have. I love the sword attacks we have, the super spin, the the ground pound move we can do with the cape is very cool. Over remote bombs, light arrows, the whole shebang. Okay. Isn't there a graveyard below Gerudo and Tears? Yeah, I guess so, like the ancient cemetery. So yeah, there's like some tombstones there. Yeah, so a little, little something, you know? Not super prominent in the story, but I thought that was nice because the depths very rarely has stuff that's just a direct correlation to the surface. We were talking about it last stream, we are doing 100% stuff, but 
Yeah, that was kind of neat. And it, in lore reasons, it correlates to Arbiter's Ground above it, but it's still kind of off centered. Ooh. Sorry. Red Dark Nuts. Uh, new one. Appears in the Palace of Winds. Uh, sorry, when fighting this boss, it was like a really cool buildup, and then I accidentally just hit him off the edge in like two seconds, and he died instantly. So there was that fight. <laughs> They're strong. Sure. <laughs> Relax and wait for your opening, you can still push him off a ledge and kill him instantly. We know that. <laughs> that, that was anticlimactic, but kind of funny. I was really looking forward to that fight, too. But we'll, we'll be fighting more in the finale. I, I know that for sure. The Darkman fights are really cool. Yeah, 4%. Get out of here. All percent. Or half. <laughs> How's it going though? It's going good. It's been very fun. Um, well, the whole build up into what we're doing. Brocco! <laughs> he has the kale, but broccoli head. Like has to. Hyrule's vegetable vendor that's been gone for half the game. He sells fine produce and argues constantly with the fruit vendor, Pina, over the health benefits of vegetables. Vegetables are better for you, so sorry. But no need to be a snob about it. Fruits are tasty. Yum yum. See, I, I have fruits. I, I have an apple. Apple a day keeps the smile here to stay. Yeah, apple. <laughs> oh wait, we also have, I think Brock will be happy by this guy. I just conveniently had a carrot and apple plush on my desk today. So the feud is real. <laughs> oh, Pino's pineapple in Spanish, okay. Well, explains that name. Next Zelda game, there should be a graveyard behind every town. There still should be a bathroom in every house, but they're not going to do that either. Oh my god! They were listening! So no, they do them in pairs! We just saw that earlier. We saw that with the Floor Masters and Wall Masters, and then the Armros, and then the King Armros boss. They do them in pairs. Does this person have pears? We may never know. She hates vegetables. She won't even sell tomatoes, even though they are technically fruits. Freak. <laughs> That's actually the best description, though, out of all of these. <laughs> Screenshotting it for my Switch's sake. I like looking at the sillies. Love that one. Okay, create suspend point. Boom bop right there. We're on the last few. We're, we're doing it now. 3%? Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine. Oh! Out of shells! Screw it. You know what we're doing? We're getting 3%. It's gonna happen. 3% odds? Pfft, come on. That's easy stuff. Yeah. So as I was saying, um, obviously we need more shells. I have some rupees to buy more, of course. But. Just a little bit of shells. Goes a long way. 200 rupees, yeah. So that already will guarantee the next one. But not the next couple after that. There's under five left, I'm pretty sure. Five at most. Maybe just three, though. Um, but yeah, we will need more. And how do you do more? Well, we do a little gambling. We do a create suspend point. We'll do it right there. How many more? I think it's the last like three, maybe five. Oh, you ever start gambling? Okay. So we did need a little bit, but that's fine. Give it a try. <laughs> He's flabbergasted, but we're gonna sweep. Hard. All or nothing. Okay, which is a trap? <laughs> um, in fact, wait. There might be too much delay. Uh, left, right, middle, left, right, middle. Also, thank you, Cass, for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. It's okay. It's mostly right, but that's a one in three, so. 
See, you know each time you do it. So unlike the two one where it's like, if you get it wrong, next time you're right. Using the scum method, if you get it wrong the first time, you'll be guaranteed right the second. But you're getting more return because it's three times. So less saves to get a better result. Creates a spend point. Middle next. I'm going in order of the responses. Okay. What's next? Creates a spend point. If there's one chat message that's right, that's that's an A plus. So applause to the first person to get it right. Um, right middle, right middle. I need one suggestion. This is important. No, I'm not trying to push off the failure on someone else. So I will go if need be, but it's more fun this way. Welcome. Uh, welcome is a two-syllable word. Uh, so is middle. Okay. Two for middle. There we go. See? <laughs> I'm making things up now, but we got it. Um, 270. So now we just need to double it once more. And with our existing rupees, then... That should pretty much max us out. Okay, now two for left. So we're doing left for sure next time. Let's do it. Create we're spent. Create to spend. Yes. So you saved an attempt, so thank you. Still saved an attempt. Appreciate it. 810 rupees? That's... No, thanks. If we max out, then we can get all. I know we have like a hundred, but then it's the difference between buying four packs of shells and five. I can just rewind and do this faster. I don't think this has rewind. Um, I'm gonna pick one this time because I'm feeling confident. Maybe the reload didn't start yet. Oh, maybe it did. Okay, there we go. 99 rupees. Never a gamble again. Woohoo! Wheel of Fortune is ever turning. <laughs> a fi final bit for like 30 more rupees. We just have to get one rupee. But five more ways of shells. So three times five is 150. 150 more shells. That's like three more figures. We can get. And I think that's it then. On top of the mono shells we have for another, so four more figures we can get with us. I think we just need four. So not bad. I'm glad it's only for these last couple, not like the last dozen. We just keep doing this. Message got deleted for some reason. Uh, how much did I remove from my screen captures after Wednesday's stream? <laughs> oh, right, because I filled up. Um, I didn't get around to it yet. I spent the entire time from last stream to this one, which was just yesterday, finishing up the video. So, because I'm trying to get out for the weekend. That, that's the priority. Finishing up the video so I can release the video this weekend. Then we'll go through the captures and start everything I need to for preparing for the challenge run. So... And that may mainly just making thumbnails for the streams, so... Yeah. Uh, never mind, we need a couple more. Plus 10 more to do more gambling if need be. I'm just gonna quickly leave town. I think that's fine. Maybe it's because we cut this grass recently? I don't know. Just not lucky grass. Not all grass is. 178 shells? Yeah, that's... It's nearing 50 shells per 50%. But, uh, oh wait, we can get the final kinstone. I remember that. It's probably gonna be rup rupees or shells, so either will be helpful, right? I forgot we were saving that. Oh, those swords are left, crap. I. <laughs> it's been so long. The, the, the final kinstone reward, we got all the pieces. Okay, this is awesome. 
And it's right here, too. I didn't need a warp, I just forgot. <laughs> Love the spin. Money! Yay. <laughs> Shell's actually good. Um, where was it? I'm just gonna use the map, no shame. Up there. Right there was like an empty hole for a while. That. That's what it was. I always thought it was like a cave entrance. Ah, come on! <laughs> One thing I didn't want it to be. But that's all for Kinstone Rewards. I was saving it because when we got the second to last one, I almost filled up on shells. So I was worried it was going to be shells again. So then we just started doing the gambling. There we go. Uh, two more, please. So I have enough in case I need to gamble again. Because you need 10 to start the gambling. <laughs> Kinstone. I love Kinstone. They're so cool. <laughs> Not to me. There's like bushes over here. Please. Two more rupees. One. Five. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna buy 30 more shells. And we'll save the last couple in case. Yeah. In case, yeah. After this, we'll just go to the gambling house and gamble the rest away. <laughs> it shouldn't be hard. I've been like three to five more. We have enough for four, so... We'll just have to see. I'm very excited, though. And then the castle, so... That's gonna be big. <laughs> okay. In here? So I'm gonna see the uh, collection first before I do any more. First, save. Create suspend point. Create. Create. Okay. Capitalist Croton. Um, not many gaps this is gonna be. One. This looks so nice. Peaceful Hyrule, all that. I don't know how detailed some of these figurines are. Two, three, four. I know there's a couple post-game ones. It could just be those four. Maybe? Oh! Yeah! Just four more! <laughs> Which we have enough for four. Th this is it. It was like it stopped and like... Huh? And then for the final one, we'll just... Or maybe we shouldn't dump our shells in case you the post game. Because there's a couple things apparently. Postman! Okay. Stamp and then Postman. Yeah, Stamp was the last one, so yeah, they come in pairs. At least I think he was. Okay. Very serious mail delivery man. Continues to make every delivery right on time every day. And if you get in his way, he jumps over you. Which I thought was kind of funny. Okay, I think that was the early one. We're going to create a save right here. Because there's three spots, so... They're all right next to each other. Oh! Okay. Like, yeah. They're all just kind of random silly ones. Acro bandits. They're not minions. Appears in eastern hills, etc. Five of them pop out at once. You smack each of them as you pop out of the ground. Piece of cake. Okay, that's two left. Wow. Um, then we're off to the castle. I'd start overwriting that one because why not? I don't know. Yeah, I know at the end we get the heart piece, which is good. So you don't know how true it is, but you heard from friends that the castle in Minish Cap is one of the hardest in the older Zelda games. The stuff in the old Zelda games is really hard for me, personally. So it's definitely the trickiest part of the game, but I think by old Zelda standards, not from what I remember. From when I played this, like, a decade ago. But I guess we'll see, right? So, and everyone has a different experience, so. Let's 
stops at eight for some reason. Reload the house and final two. Like that last figure. That's what he says. What time I read it as? It's the last figure. So just speed reading. 1% for probability for the last ones. So there's really like those last two that are like that then? Bobby! <laughs> Another Mario enemy. Wait, oh yeah, Lakitu was in this game. I totally forgot about that. Um. More so Link's Awakening as the references, but this game literally has Lakitu and Bob Om, yeah. Wait, I have a Bobby plush. Um wait, 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 this is important. Very important. He fits in my hand <laughs> and he just sets his little dangly legs. Bob Om plushes are like the silliest things. Um one second. Yeah. Fix that. <laughs> We love Bobby. Ever since Origami King, Paper Mario, uh, I love Bobby. <laughs> Appears in dungeons, often gathering groups in narrow areas. It's activated, they go a little crazy. Take them out with arrows. Sorry, Bobby, you don't stay well. <laughs> Good. Congrats. Do you have any time? Well, who will be the last one? I don't know. We got the minions and Bobby and Mailman. Creates a spend point right there. <laughs> Paper Mario reference? Indeed. <laughs> oh my god. Origami King such an awesome game. Oh. Especially Paper Mario just always being so different. Uh, I love the classic too. First in Thousand Year. But Origami King just swept my heart. Like, such a good game. Love it. Because it just doubles down as a fun adventure game. Totally different from its RPG roots. Adventure, puzzle, comedy. All the like... Fun mini games, all stuff I like. Not spiny beetle. Oh, I guess spiny Mario anime, but without the spine, so kind of. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely say in terms of like video game chapters, which would be just like a segment of the game. So like in a Zelda game, will be everything from like one segment to like the end of a dungeon. So all, all the pre-dungeon stuff to the end of the dungeon. Uh, my favorite chapter in any video game probably has to be the second one from Origami King. With Autumn Mountain, that stuff. So, so good. Pretty much everything with Bobby in the chapter, so. That's why I love it so much. Favorite chapter in a Zelda game would be the Sandship chapter from Skyward Sword. So good. It's the build up and everything. Peak. Mm -hmm. And Minecarts. Minecarts is a plus. We got Gina. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll do it again. If this one doesn't work, then we'll go outside. It's the last one, then we're going to the castle. This is that. You just finished Tears of the King 100%, and it was amazing. Keep up the great work. Thank you. No, that was a very fun experience. Literally two finishing 100% this week, so. I saved a lot for it. Wanna be a fun big week. Has to be it. Ugh. Bombarossa, right after Bobby. So there we go. Uh, the Queen Bobby. Appears in dungeons, they float in the air and explode when touched. Walk carefully and you may escape unhurt. <laughs> is that a threat? No threat, they're all dead. Yeah, <laughs> and so is he. Dead from disbelief. Congrats. Now I collected all the figurines that I made. Keep a good eye on your figures in the case. Come see them anytime. Well, awesome. So one of the figures I made so far. Don't trade. <laughs> Because you want to change your shells for rupees. Technically, you could. One shell for five rupees to buy it back. 
Okay, just a quick rundown. All hundred whatever sh things. Very nice. <laughs> a quick succession. I like the uh, little displays. Wheaton and Pita. And then like the peaceful Hyrule ones. Where's that? Yeah. It's like, might as well show off the little guys too. <laughs> that dude's so confused by the mushroom house. He's like, huh? Oh, and chickens, yeah. Stupid golden chicken screwing us up earlier. No. Yeah, that is everything. Oh, you can just do that. Okay. That's fine. All good. Big Goron, big Goron. So big. No one has ever seen it all at once. I know it's one of those post-game things. There's not really a post-game, but I know it's like post-game stuff. Okay, and now I need to figure out how to get inside that house. Can I just go inside of it now? I know it's a collector's house. Is there a quest attached to it? Let's knock on the door, then come back. I assumed it would just open it up, you know? Get inside. No, thank you. Maybe. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, right. It's hit. I forgot. Complete set. And you even got the legendary Karlov medal. <laughs> Who's Karlov? I forgot. Um, but it shines with the light, so that's cool. Right. He's the person who will show it to. I, my head cannon being that was a collector's house. Uh, no, it was him. I forgot. Right. He's the guy. Because I'm rich. Haha. -ha. Wrong side, wrong side. <laughs> He lives, yeah, if the guy lives under a tree, how do you know what I look like to make these figures? Same goes with everything. Final piece of heart! Yes! Completed a new heart container. Replenish, increase to max. Nothing more satisfying in Zelda games than getting them all. And money. But that's it! Everything is 100 percent We got all the sword skills, all the figurines, the kinstone fuses, heart pieces, bottles, uh item upgrades and now it's just time for the castle um so i guess we go for it we have a lot of stuff to utilize magic boomerang turn whatever way we want that's a fun one to use okay because so yeah to finish our mario discussion before we go uh favorite chapter origami king was sandpaper desert uh I feel like an archaeologist the whole time with temple shrooms that was so cool, too. Every chapter is so good, but I do like that one a lot, too. Um, and the Super Mario RPG, I played a couple chapters of it, but I didn't finish it. Very fun. I just have to get back into it. Um, just games I play sometimes when I'm, like, on a plane for a trip or something. It's fun. Uh, so I don't stream all the new games. Um, same with, like, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong one. Once I get through at least one of those, I'll pick up the Peach one. I don't play that. Um... Anyways, I gotta use the restroom really quick, so we'll be right back. Um, because we've been going for about two hours and three quarters. Um, final dungeon segments usually take about an hour, we'll see. Um, stream watcher will be... Of course... We'll have Piggy. Piggy and Floyd. Uh, he's chilling. Doesn't have a saddle on him, but... Floyd still saves that ball. So we'll be right back, give me like a minute, please. Uh, and see you then. Castle time.
turn. Hello. Um, thank you, Piggy, and baby play. Okay. Now I'm ready for the finale. <laughs> We're gonna put that over there. And... Okay, yep, after about... Thank you, Boomerang. <laughs> Almost 25 hours into the playthrough, going to the castle, finishing the cell, and let's just see what to expect. So, we first went here, we had so much to 100% left, like two streams ago. So we just had to find our escape, and then... Now we're actually gonna do it. So what is the best way through? I'm refreshed now. Looms the Moblin. I love the castle theme. Um, hmm. Do a lot of different things. Have a lot of fancy tech. A spin. Oh, a lot of damage. I think we have hearts. <laughs> and more hearts. With beams. Ooh, archer guys. Actually, screw the cape for a bit. Light arrow? Bye bye. <laughs> Really try out everything, so we'll see. It might just be an exit point, but I'm gonna try a bomb. I really wanna try anything whenever I can. Oh, that's the ting noise, is the uh, spiky ting <laughs> trap. I will fight him because fighting stuff sometimes leads to rewards. Alright, crap. <laughs> if I place a bunch right away. Hmm, maybe not. I'm gonna fight everything just in case. There might be a key lock behind something. Crap. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, we gotta like get. Oh. Sword could reflect. Oh. Just had to be quick about it. Wait for the spin attack. Yep, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have the spin do it. That was more flashily. Of course, these guys. I don't mind keeping my distance. Ow! I guess I do mind. <laughs> Pierce shots. We have a full quiver. That hit things. Back away. I'm gonna smash themselves. This is cool. Big place. Memorize the path. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Um, I see it. <laughs> Alright. I've done enough of those. Definitely not the first time in a 2D game. Right, spin a bit. Get them all. Odd angles, but they're low health, okay. At least, no match for that move. Right, charge. Efficient. That'll be easy, just be patient over this. Oop, gonna lose it. Ugh. Yep, okay. All right, we're back here. Okay, so it seems like this wing is cleared, maybe? Unless... Yep, that just loops fully around. Okay. Good to know. So the past segment holds a key. So we're going to switch to our boomerang. Left or right? This should be the right way. Must be. Unless there's another one. There we go. <laughs> Waiting for that to hit back. We need to be in the center of a big attack. Just stab him. <laughs> No reward. 
Uh, bats. <laughs> it's really the best way. You can use this for a lot of fights. It's like the level one skeletons. Come on. One more shot. Ah, too early. <laughs> I thought I would have gotten it that time. Definitely the wrong camera placement. Oh. Has to be next one. Why is that messing up? We, we could go left and right. Like angled it. Hmm. They not have the right idea. Uh, let's see. Left, right, left. Well, like okay. I guess the solution also makes sense, but not the one I wanted to happen. Yeah, that's essentially the same thing, but it's close enough so you don't have room to diagonal. Ooh. Oh, we're ch charging out of the room and then coming into it. There we go. <gasps> One tornado? That's literally it. It's like it was made for that. such thing as a fake room, is there? Not a lens of truth. <laughs> Show me the truth. Uh, there's no truth in this. There's, there's, uh, no result, though. <laughs> Can I burn this? Oh, what the? Huh? I was gonna try the fake wall thing anyways. No such thing as nothing. Guess we didn't have to be precise. Can I push that? I just need to make sure that I can't push that. Uh, what time zone I am? EST. So that's usually what I give in terms of when I schedule things because uh, a lot of other people use it too. So it happens to be mine. I mean, back when I lived in the Midwest, I still used EST. It just makes sense. Um, we had no E3 this year. Um, that E3 is now gone. So I guess June is a big month for announcements, so. so I guess we'll see. For Nintendo, June, February, uh, and like September, usually, are big months for announcements. Whoa! Protector of the throne. This site's going to be different from the last one. He dashes. What can he do? <laughs> this is a sword shield fight. Oh, whoa! Drill attack! Oh, okay. I'm gonna be more elusive with my rolling. A sidestep, but that tornado slash was crazy. Pierce right through it. Nice. This is really cool. Yeah, let's push him off. What if I go off? Not good. <laughs> burn, burn. Didn't fall off, or he almost fell in there. <laughs> he basically just dead again. Uh, 
Don't forget about a couple post game figurines. Sorry. And the big one. I won't. <laughs> but thank you, though. Sorry, I just need to catch up. I forgot. And now we're back. Very obtained. That was like four, six hearts, maybe? So there was that other pathway that I feel like we needed to have taken. But I likely want to say it was a dead end, but I can't be too sure. Come on. <laughs> Very. I'm, I'm just going to check that really quick because I feel like figuring that out about the throne wasn't the easy thing. I feel like it was that chest. Yeah. Hopefully the mummies are back. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I did that. I have a habit of missing the first big chest in like every dungeon. There's the compass. I need to check for hidden rooms and whatnot. Oh, how many chests? We just gotta go to the spires. Now we're going back. Now we're going up. <laughs> Truly exhilarating. Oh, I'm trying to drink my coffee. One second. Now I'm back. <laughs> Focused. It's not a matter there. I had a feeling it's a compass because that earlier dungeon had like that one wall that you can only see with the map slash compass. I'll make sure I don't want to miss one of those hidden rooms. Also, this is cool. Um, let's maybe take care of these. Yeah. Get back. Eventually. Okay. That one's bit awkward of an angle. Wait, but I wonder, can we deflect, like... No, wait. I'm gonna do it! <laughs> it's gonna work. Yeah! Ah! Oh, you have to get both, which... At that rate? No. Cool that you can for a little bit. They're just in sync, though, you know? Like the shadow? It's always a shadow, not the wind itself. What are you looking out for? And just hit him off or to the wall, that's, that's cool too. <laughs> Into the wall? You charge off though? And. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gets the job done. Oh, the wind stuff. What's a sus? All right, no, nah, nothing new to sauce. We'll just push. Wait for the best possible window, though. Maximize time. I thought would be okay <laughs> in that corner. It wasn't in the corner enough. <laughs> Camera follows the real link. Oh wait, yeah, hole. I see it. Oh, so it doesn't block that off. I see. Which one did I want to do first, son? Maybe that one. Okay. Don't tell me that's just a... Is this my punishment? <laughs> you can't fly past this. I'm, I'm gonna try anyways, though. Did I just get punished? <laughs> what? But I, I... Why can you fly above it? No. <laughs> I guess we have to come back? I guess we'll see. I think that's the point. Like, you can miss things. So take the path where you're most confident about. That you can return. Oh. 
That's fine. We're figuring it out. It's a later thing? Okay. It seemed like I was like, ha, out of luck. But I'll still be mindful of paths I could miss, which we did earlier, and that's why we had the compass. As opposed to not having it. And I just I just tugged the edge. <laughs> It's not tight controls, it's wind controls. Hit it, and then we go in. Fly above, you're not gonna get hit. You are not. <laughs> I don't know the depth perception here, I'm just going for it. Woo! And yep, okay. We're on the spire. <laughs> Doing superbly. Bye! <laughs> Trying to do my roll technique. I forgot how to do the roll technique. There we go. It's very quick. Nope, that was a long one. Short roll. Short roll. Short roll. <laughs> Here's a method. Maybe push the button on it. So why is it telling me this? It's showing me that as a thing to do. Maybe I can kill them for a reward. No. I don't think I can throw a I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just kind of doing whatever right now. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Um, just for the spec of being a, a spire, you know? It's aspiring. Maybe it was a bomb wall. I'm looking for fun. No, I see the thing now. <laughs> Long. Get him. There we go. Love the magic. I can feel it. Loop around and hit him. Oh, both. Yes. <laughs> that was nice. I love this boomerang. Utilizing it. Well. Boss room? It's like I want to hit stuff in chronological order. If I get too far ahead, it's like I want to assume I'm missing something. Oh, I see. Gotta go in from the outside. And trim the corners. Not bad. <laughs> Minions going first. All these guys. Yep. Okay, this is a big room, which makes sense. It's actual castle layout, but we're kind of scooping the edges first, trying to find a way in. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, light arrows. Is that fully charged? Maybe this is. I don't know how much more damage it does, but probably a decent bet. <laughs> we just got lucky all those oh, other attempts. One more. Ooh, you missed it. The spin. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bait out. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm like timing it perfectly to his spins. Imperfectly for me. Okay. And I'm not back in it, but let me go there. Fine, he's gonna do spin. <laughs> spin to win time. Ow. Interrupted. Bye bye. We hit the portal, so that's good. Green room. The other one was a red room. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe that's just locked. We probably could have done much then. But interesting to know, at least. But did we see what was here then? No, we didn't. We... I, I, had, I had a pretty fair point there. Veld idea, to say the least. Oh, yeah, bomb. Ow. <laughs> I can't see it in front of me when I just. 
Ow. No, it's like when I place it, it's like there's no pixel difference. I just have to see the lift button. And then it just places again. It's like, okay, go for it. No! Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm being sloppy. We have to go up again. It looks like we're bomb trucking. I don't know to do it with. Do I need to kill us for anything? Probably not. Am I going to anyways? Because I will have that FOMO of missing something? Yes. Yes, I will. Oh yeah, spin beams. <laughs> Forgot about the spin beams, but situationally helpful. This is such a cool dungeon, though. It's really testing everything. Um, the last dungeon did that in a very upwards ascenty type way with the uh, the wind temple. You have all different sorts of, I guess, puzzles and enemies testing your items, but with the new rocks cape. But not just like everything equally, to a harder extent. Hmm? What am I missing here? Oh, it seemed like there was gonna be a. Uh... <laughs> more timely puzzle there. Oh, right. That, that, that was bad. Okay. Nice. Okay, it's symmetrical to the other one. Oh, yeah, fourth one. Yep. I see now. Fairies? A lot of them. <laughs> There's a whole fairy fountain in here. Okay. That's basically the main way of replenishing just these occasional fairies, but a lot of damage in between. This is probably four, the other way is. Whoa. Okay, a black one. Um Okay, seems to have less windows to attack through. That was the wrong way. go to the back <laughs> these stabs I'm like strafe messed okay wasn't a direct hit so strafing is pretty good I'm gonna try that strategy he's so snappy get me through there yep <laughs> ow he did Beam did not work. Oh my god, the spin. <laughs> but that certainly did. And just more keep popping up. This is so cool, though. Oh, man. And Hyrule Castle becomes awake. <laughs> Bring it on. It's like you thought two trials was enough. It was not. <laughs> oh, they're maybe the keys? That was satisfying. Just... Wait. All four. You probably gotta kill all four. Seems like a lot of restore though. As long as you know the fairy tactic. <laughs> so many. <gasps> okay. Let's get nuts. <laughs> Go! Two. Well, one for each. And ready, deceased. That one is. <laughs> Not bad with this four sword. <laughs> all right, that's a fire bar room. Okay, so it's all cycling back. Right, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyways. I I didn't pay attention to that. I just saw the missed opportunity that I didn't do this at first. Yeah, it's more so you're going over the room, which is kind of cool. Here, let's go up first. Oh, maybe these... Oh, yeah, the big doors for each of those unlocks, like, a trial afterwards. So it's, like, mini-boss trial, mini-boss trial. It's, like, setting up its own patterns within, like, the general flow of this dungeon. Like clockwork. Oh, literally. 
And then that should work. Nope. That did work. I'm just going to tank it. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Wait for it to wear. Beam. Oh, Beam did nothing. <laughs> Checking for like chests, no. That center one you unlock after all these wings looks like. Yep. It's actually like literally the other side to all these areas you couldn't see. Key. I like this dungeon. Has like a neat like observative walkthrough, like the outskirts. Slash like flying through the traps and whatnot. Yeah, it teases like those, or these, I guess, iron knuckle challenge rooms. But now understanding the pattern, it's cool. Then they come alive. And they're utilizing these side passages. I dig that. Nice. Probably gonna go in order of the difficulty, though. Oh! <laughs> we can literally stun him back with that. That's. That's kind of crack. Is the move really that powerful? It is. Okay. <laughs> I was finding him pretty sincerely before. Just unswordsmanlike. Well, I like being a fun swordsman. So. Ow. Let's see. There's four different ones, right? Does it mean we just go into plus pattern? I didn't pay too much mind to it, but I think a plus pattern and a spin attack will do good. And we're just gonna kinda ride it like that. Whoop. I think we can break through if we just nudge a little faster. To be honest. Or we box it. I'm sure a spin attack will do just fine in this boat. Yeah, it just had to be some pattern, I guess. <laughs> that worked. Oh, this room, yeah. It's like I want to go down there, but... Oh, it seems like we have to anyways, because it's uh, downstairs. Should I fall, or...? No. <laughs> No, no key. It just seems strictly like a trap. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. I guess that was it. It's like alluded to that. So maybe you want you to like fall down first and get jump scared. I was beyond the scare though. Oop. Beyond the fire, apparently. I love a nice time dodge roll. It's flashily. Was this way we want? Yeah, it was. This might just be the final thing already, then. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that one's jittery. One spin is all you need for you, right? Uh oh. <laughs> Ow. You're showing me. But if you shield a bunch. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> Love the dodge invincibility. It's handy. Oh, one of these rooms. Okay. We did the first one almost flawlessly. Will the same be true for this? I'm just like, it just seems like there's a path, you know? Bing bong. I got that way quicker than I normally would have. Um, just trusting my puzzle intuition a bit. I mean, like, it just makes sense with these types of ridges. And whatnot. Just kill one. They get scared. Uh, this guy. I scoop that up. Okay. 
Not really the best spin maneuver. Get out! <laughs> this is my shield. The sword is my shield. Unless I actually have a shield out, which is very rare. Bye-bye. Oh, tower? I saw, like, chest on the... Oh, right. The chest tower. I remember seeing those. Right, those are the ones we're getting on the map. That's gonna be an optional thing, but I'm like, oh yeah, that's what we haven't been getting in the four spires. Yep. <laughs> Which means, yep, that's basically it for the... Wow, that's... I'm running on almost done. And then we use that to get the big key, and that's it. Very fun, though. Fun challenge, just all the iron knuckles. These occasional enemies that they kind of threw at you as a... You know, a fierce deity symbol of the like. Not the fierce deity. But fierce for sure. Until you get whirlwind spin. Oh, that's the end. Triples, trials, and these. That was for the pops. Sorry. <laughs> Pass them right by. We can get more fairies later too if we want. More bot. Wait, what? We did this. Oh, right, we just had to go back for the final one. I forgot. When you when we actually intersect the same way you initially did it. Okay, you know what? I don't need it for the finale. I just want to take down this guy fast and just see what hell the hell happens. Bye bye. One. <laughs> Trying to get him in one. Okay, but we got him one and one. And for the finale, I just want to go all base damage. Don't want to rush it, you know. Oh, well, let's just murder these guys. That'll be worth it. Oh, and these guys. <laughs> Extra damage is good for those. I'm not going back. Riddance. <laughs> oh, now we got a four sword arrow. I don't mind the rupees. It's like plenty. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not four sword. It just. <laughs> it just do it. Do or don't. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and swap the sword sometimes when needed. Will I play Majora's Mask 100% on stream one day? One day, sure. Uh, not recently, because I did it like a year ago. Okay, I have this weird habit, like, uh, always like before a new 3D Zelda game comes out, I always just replay Majora's Mask on my own. I don't know why, I just been my, my thing for the last, like, I mean, two games, so it's, it's now a pattern. I just always have the urge to play it, like, right before a new one comes out, so. At some point, sure. I mean, we did Ocarina 100% on stream, like, two years ago. And that's on the VODs channel. So, uh, what's going on here? That's probably how you get there. More mummies. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next, the classic Zelda playthrough, Wind Waker HD. First time, 100%. It'll be the final 3D Zelda game, 100%. Okay. Oh, Mirror, does the game sound distorted? It should be a little bit. Minish caps, 8 bit sounds. You know, a 16 bit chip tune. But if it's extra, let me know. Okay, and that was just for. Blop. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to show that it's a spire. Each place is a little bit of depth. It's not just like a clear path to all of them. Uh, okay, the spires exist. We'll just show a little balcony here or bigger area there. We got all four keys. Now we can go back out. Oh, yeah, sprints. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on a whim, Pegasus boots. Yay. And okay. I'll take it. Curve into them. Oh, could have just kept it. Why didn't it? Boomerang. <laughs> yeah. Controlled. Get them all for good luck. I have an empty bottle. We're fine. 
I have confidence. I guess we're gonna save right here. Save up. Also, is the game distorted for anyone else? Just wanna make sure, on my end, it's crisp clear, so. I don't know if it's the thing. Uh, Cause, yeah. Stream end, who knows. Any feedback, appreciate it. Um, we're gonna do a save state though. Here, create save suspend point. bit distorted but that's just how the game normally is i'm gonna look at the replay on my phone and see how it is so it's a little bit natural but give me a second i'm gonna walk to the room and hear it on my phone so it's probably my best test uh because it's the finale right afterwards so i don't want to mess it up i can view my own stream <laughs> please One moment. Okay. Do you hear any distortion now? Because if, if it's like a static, is it good? I want to make sure. Could be speakers. Okay. Just, hey, I appreciate it. Better take care of it now because sometimes stuff like that does happen. And if people don't say anything for a bit, then it, the stream's just like that, which it has happened to me before. So, not before the finale. We're like here. Uh, been about. Yeah, 25 hours in the playthrough. Uh, eight hours into it. Or eight streams into it, sorry. For 25 hours. Um, but we're here. Thank you guys who've been watching the series. This will be it. <laughs> yeah, Final Dungeon music being a bit eerie. It is indeed. So. But I love it. Now we gotta find the, where that final thing was. I think it was here. But I could be wrong. Let's look. Uh... Okay, it's like a tad out of the way. So I think I was actually closer earlier. That's fine. It happens. An epic week for me. Thank you. Yep. The tier is 100% finishing. This finishing. Was it really just here and I... Yeah, I just went to the port. I thought it was the earlier one because it was blue and usually that's the first one. So purely my bad. Ah, almost. <laughs> Mildly satisfactory. Oh, I'm gonna push it this way. I'm a rebel. Okay, Link's line up. Oh, what the? And oh crap, we missed. It. Get the big key. I guess with that we can take the warp to save two seconds. Oh. And this one. Okay, now body. Turn everything to stone. Soon he will be stoned. I'm excited. I don't remember much about this fight. It's been like a decade. I'm persistent. A mere three more times of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. I'll become like a god. Okay, this is it. This is it. Okay. Is it actually timed? Oh my god, this is cool. Spin, spin, spin. I don't care. Take a little bit of hits. We're fine. Big Ruby. Hey. It's the first one. <laughs> take. Take. Back up. Spin attack. Kill him. Okay. Just keep it safe. We're, we're pretty weak to hits right now. Woo! There we go. Spin it all. And then get him. Yes! <laughs> that was so cool. Another bell is toiled. Okay. Iron. Oh, this part. Haha. -ha. This is where all the damage comes from that we have to thwart. Oh, the bomb stun him. And then hit him like, oh, very barely though. Um, we're better off not doing that. <laughs> Bit crazy. 
Okay. Goes for extra that time. I might spin attack. Get around that side. Yep, him. Okay. Got the toughest one. Love Whirlwind. We're doing once more. One won't catch up. Yep, that's the one. And he shielded too much. Oh, I was trying to shield. There we go. It's fine. No time. No chimes. Whew. That was so good. A few moments ceremony would have been complete. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Drain of all the light force. Should suffice. Unstoppable. Hmm. Kind of the pesky worms. Hmm. What? More? <laughs> we just did this. I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. Okay, let me show you true power. Okay, here's the faces of him. <gasps> and he has an eyeball. We know what that does. Get the fairy, get the fairy, get that, get the arrows. Ow. It's okay. Crap! <laughs> Slow moving object? What's this? You probably have to hit the eyes? Maybe just get close. What does hitting him do? Nothing. Let's go for the eyes. Dodge that. Maybe hit him while. No. There we go. Okay, just the eyes. <laughs> eyes to eyes. Let me get ready with one of these. Spin, spin. Oh, through my spins. <laughs> Not good. He's in orbit. A little bit. We can do this, though. He's gonna try to train that across. Get him! One, two, three, four! Oh, it didn't work. Whew. This is awesome. Just being a maniac with every move. Tease the entire game. We didn't get one fight. Not much of a swordsman, though. Ugh. Okay, put that one. You're gonna go far for that one. The orbit's here. <laughs> Whew. This is nice. We might do the beam attack. Gonna move with that. Nope. The orbit is there. It's going further out and there. Come on. Picking up the pace. Oh no. Ooh, wait, those aren't ones we can. We're shielded? Maybe wait this out or bombs if it doesn't work. We're gonna try bombs. It seems like rocks around it. Spin beam? Maybe just go for him? Okay, um, shield. I don't think shield will work. Are we doing it anyways? Yes, we are. Um, feather. Arrows. We don't, light arrows are optional. We, you can't think too much about optional items. Boomerangs are technically optional, but I'm curious. We beam attack, we have split it, um... We use a lot of hearts for this. I'd like to not use more. I'll figure it out. I'm just keep hitting the eye itself. Can I dodge this? I can't roll past, okay. Well, these are just quarter attacks, too. Maybe stay in the... Wait, if the beam moves, maybe move with it and something opens up. I didn't see an opening, but maybe I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Just 
still don't see an opening. What the hell? Um, the cane? The gust jar? Maybe the gust jar. It might be the gust jar. It's the gust jar. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling that'd be something. Oh, it doesn't suck up the fire. It's not how fire works. But that worked. Go again. Disintegrating. And nope. Go. No, not close enough, I guess. He's like phasing. I'm ready. Unless that was that. Oh! Oh, we sucked it off right away! Woo. And here. There. He's gonna orbit somewhere. So fast, I couldn't get him. Nah, the fake outs don't even count. Nope, <laughs> they're not even, they're just elusive. <laughs> That's the word. Okay, we lost all that life in just that phase. That one, that one. Bring him off, wait for an orbit. We can get him all at once. Yep. Oh, the blowback does it. And yep, got him. Just wait for him to be hittable, and he's hittable. Boom. That was a cool version of the fight. Or Avadi. He's apparently a swordsman. Commend your bravery. With duplication? <laughs> Skull Kid. Okay. These are openings. Bacteria. Already fought off one pandemic. We can break it. <laughs> Sanitize. Hmm. It's gonna be like that wind fight where the eyes open up. Or maybe not. Oop, a lot of rocks. <laughs> Just like the mountain. All my world's foes coming back in attack phases. Whoop! Oh no! <laughs> What's that gonna do? Maybe we just have to attack him more and break those apart? He, he's like that shape, you know? I too weak too. Um, maybe the cane. Cain did something? Or did they just move like that? To be silly. Can't tell. Hmm. Ghost thing. Might as well break these arrows, I guess? <laughs> he has an eye, but it seems like a little distracted, you know? Oh, what the? Arrows did the trick. Interesting. Just gotta figure out what works. We're making a shape. I got it. So the shape I made fits this mold. Yep, just like the wind boss. Oh, and back up. Getting a little shock. We got him. Nice. Get them all. Keep going. Okay. Good. Cancel that one. Keep hitting them more. Huh. Can we hit that one. Maybe only. Oh, okay. Now figure out the shape what he's gonna be. <laughs> One for each side. Don't be too overkill. We're not losing hearts now. So we're doing fine. Right, we gotta wait from the on the other side of the arena. <laughs> Better dodgers, but our hitbox is huge like this. There we go. There we go. Get closer. And probably one more. This side. Yep. At least not the back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> as soon as we figured that part out, it wasn't bad. <laughs> there we go. Yep. And bye bye. Or not. What were we working with? Right in front again? Oh no, not right in front. Whichever way the wind blows. <laughs> 
He's like a bumper car. A little more evil. And virusy. Looks like a virus. Oh, he is a virus. <laughs> My yeah. Multiplying. <laughs> And he went the wrong way. Wait, go like clockwork. I'm doing it a lot. There we go. Okay, caught him. And that's it? Please? I think so. No! <laughs> he just goes on and on. <laughs> There's gotta be one from the back. There's not. Front? So, right side. <laughs> just like the harder half. <laughs> Switching up. Odd halves. Oh, one more. Just missed. Oh, I guess not. Generous. I wonder if you can get him without this, but this just makes it faster. Probably not, actually. <laughs> I think like the cannons earlier. Whew. Okay, good. And boom. <laughs> Ball body. It's just the evilness he acquired. <laughs> The power of a god. <laughs> but the fighting capability of a virus ball. <laughs> Get quarantined. Hey. Hmm. Well, very nice. <laughs> this is very cool, though. I just love all the 2D fights just keep going. Just always having to just quickly adapt to new things. That way the repetition set in, but so does the power. <laughs> oh, power of the four sword? Turn Zelda to normal. Well, <laughs> like the whole entire game, 99% of it. She was stone. Stone free. Saw visions of you as if in a dream. Curse has been broken. King's next. Too dangerous? <laughs> Is it an escape sequence or does it just happen? Just happens. Almost. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Instinct. Instinct. Yeah. Bombs. That's gonna work. Break the game. Oh, yeah, hey, this way. I didn't even try to go this way initially, but I guess it was blocked off. I think it's the way you initially escape. Like, when you first come here. But then we proceeded to do like two days worth of side content and then come back. So now we're back in this one. Oh, the sanctuary, maybe? Uh, oh, yeah. I need one in a jar. All right, sword and shield. Sword and that. I like to go jumpies. Yep. Seems fitting for final fights. The sanctuary where we grew the sword up. The light force for darkness. Contradiction. Yeah. He abandoned all uh, humanity or minutiality. Well, it's going to be a mix of all other phases, isn't it? He's got the bow. Oh. Crap. Open it. Or I guess not. But there is Minish stuff. We just hit it all with brute force. Or. Okay. What do we got? Oh, the music's so awesome. Oh, I like pierced the. The shock with an arrow, I guess. What are you doing? Creepy stuff. Do I have to do something with the four? I think I do. I just don't know. Minish me? It's here for a reason, isn't it? Me, get in! I don't think so. It feels like I have to enter the hand, but... No, that's how the one fight was, not this one. Does not seem likely. The cane, maybe? 
Hand is a real pain. Yeah, I was thinking so. It might just be this. Did you tell me the puzzle solution as I just try and do it myself? The Gust Jar, maybe? Cool. We'll try bombs. We'll try a lot of different things. Maybe I wasn't hitting right with the cane. I was not hitting right with the cane. Okay. Flip the arm over. I get it now. Parasites. <laughs> he was a virus. Oh. Very stubborn one. Oh. Just keep going. <laughs> okay, one at a time. And then back out. <laughs> See? It's interesting. The Minish made something like this. That was a temple boss. So of course he would take on this form. As an evil menish himself. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we utilize that. <laughs> he abandoned his menishness. For us to use. A whirlwind on. <laughs> just bully one in the corner. Yep. How you kill a virus? Just kill one of the virus. Whole thing dies. Easy. <laughs> just like life. Get him! Bullying! I don't think we got it. We did not get it. Maybe attack them all? It seemed like we just got one last time. Where is it? And boop! Longer run, but that's okay. I don't care. Can't see crap. I'm doing it blind. This is going to be my blind playthrough. No vision needed. Okay, maybe I need, need vision. Ah, oh, that's what. It's like certain hit spots. Get them! What is going on? Is there... There's one specifically. It's one specifically, isn't it? I was just hitting a random one and got it randomly right. Okay. Any visual similarities between you guys? Wait. You! Oh, it's you! <laughs> so we just got it randomly lucky that one time. Okay. Well. Oh. You know what it's time for? It's time for the power of... Milk. Get it, Milk! Yeah! We <laughs> stole the power of blue. But that's later. Ooh. Ah! I was hoping for a good chance there. It'll come. Who died? <laughs> I'm not or I wasn't paying attention to something. Ah! We did it last time! <laughs> Okay. Let's just wait. Let's wait for the shock to finish and then duplicate. Get him and boop. There we go. Perfection. Good stuff. Let's do it again. For me, you might go again right away. You never know. Do we miss our window potentially? No. What? It, it worked that one. <laughs> Could have sworn we hit it back at one time. He's just cheesing our timing. And I'm cheesing my own self strategy. He's gonna do it again. Yep. Okay. Not consistent. We'll play into that. All but one. We'll self dodge. We can. He might do it again. Nope. He's doing this one again. Perfect. Manageable. Okay. Oh. It's time. It's blue time. I like blue. 
Delicious color. Well, it's 10 hearts. Okay. Oh, now he's doing... I, I had a feeling. <laughs> Let's just try and do it early last time. <gasps> no! <laughs> just cancel it. I was like, where do we go that time? Not there. But he's not charging it, so... <gasps> no! Right at the end! <laughs> Quicker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't mess up the cool link. Get up! Quick! Yes! Okay. That, that was pretty good. And... Good for you? You had power, but you don't. Goodbye. <laughs> I think, okay. That might just be it. I don't think there's a final phase. He, that was pretty final phase-y to me. <laughs> Thank you all the uh, heart containers we had. Oh, with all the bottles. Delicious liquids. Well, it's good regardless. Diminish cap. <laughs> You're safe. I was brave. Lost so much. A lot of hearts and people. Good thing we had that beam that restores people. That would come in handy. But that was a very cool fight. Again, th these fights just move so fast and you keep going. And so of one phase boss, it's three phases back to back. A very nightly buildup. Defeating Vadi seems to have broken the curse. He Aw, I like him better as a hat, though. Or at least he feels whole again. His name is Ezlo. Master of Minish lore and sorcery. Made his cap was my creation. Limitless power caused him nothing but trouble for your kind. So it's all resolved. You can go back to putting rupees in grass. Too soon to give in to despair. Yeah. And Zelda has light force. They're in, like, the Triforce formation right now, I just realized. Link being at the bottom right, Courage, Wisdom, and Ezlil's Power. We know that. What a powerful guy. He's literally a hat. That's power. With just heart wears a cap, things can be made right again. Okay. <laughs> Unbreak the castle. That was such a fun game, though. Yeah. You know, it hits hard when it has that Ocarina of Time end credit music. That's the music that the game started with. Restored to what we remember. When you were younger, you used to think the jewel on the cap was Vadi's eye. Pretty fair. You know, with those small pixel details, it's like... Huh. Interpretation. There's between having power and knowing how to use it. He was a shame. But yeah. Still love how everything looks so nice in a... Just a stylized 16-bit way. This game's art style does age very well, too. Even just the fun little sprites. These guys and the townsfolk. And the cows. All of them. But the hat's falling apart. Turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Body's heart was filled with evil that reflected in what it became. But Zelda is a pure heart. And coupled with the hat's power, it's created a miracle. I assume no more need for that. This door opens every century. Where's this homeland? The woods are to the southeast. <laughs> Power has withered. Yay, light. Silly hat guy. I wish he could be a silly hat again. Yay, <laughs> I still get the hat part. Right, because I forgot it was just him the entire time. The non Ezlo. A little empty, though. I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you. Hey, 
Like, yeah. Right, because he was the hat. Uh -huh. The true Minish Cap was the friends we made along the way. AKA the Minish Cap. Oh yeah, he shrinks. He's a little candy size. Fun size. There we go. <laughs> I love the key art for this game a lot. Sticking in that tune style. It's like the un- Well, it is a tune Zelda game, but it's not like the main trinity of tune Zelda games. And there we go. <laughs> Zelda, who got like two seconds of screen time, but she's here again. And the king just like, well, he got unrocked, but that's all you need to know. So it's a very cute game. I've always liked that about the 2D games and just being brisk and happy and fun. Um, happy subjective, because half of them get pretty, well, have dark settings, but um, it's that general gameplay sense you feel, and Zelda games are always about adventure. The adventures are great, this game's great, love Link Between Worlds, love Link's Awakening, definitely my top three 2D Zelda games, um, and this one definitely takes the cake for, yeah, having that just really fun interaction, the Kinstone cements that, it's always something to cross-reference or do, and, um, the world's just very filled, just unlike any other one. So, yeah, that makes it really fun. Um, on the simpler side, but I think it doubles down on that, and it's great. Love the fun items. Uh, Gust Jar is very unique to this game. And um, item upgrades to the classic ones. Yeah, all around, I love Minish Cap. Minish Cap's fun. Kinstones are cool. Item upgrades are cool. Um, sword techniques, yeah, honestly, over all other 2D games and most 3D ones. A lot of variety. And it's fun to utilize and the payoff is grand. Especially with the whirlwind thing. It's like, yeah, you know you made it in the game when you go from riding the whirlwinds to becoming one. So, that's what we did. So, whew, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna go through the end credits, but then there's like a couple little post-game things. Uh, I guess it's talking to that big Oran and then like last couple figures, which I guess is just probably the bodies. Um, yeah, so we'll see that. I know it's not a long credits. It's crazy how long these people have been working in Zelda, like DJ Aonuma. I think it's Fujibayashi, yeah. Um, I mean, I know with Aonuma, uh, yeah, dungeon designer for Ocarina of Time, then uh, they let him make his own Zelda game, he did Majora's Mask. Uh, it was so good that they're like, just do the series, and he's been doing it all the way till tears and maybe beyond. So that's awesome. <laughs> Love the giant choo-choo. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's really great playthrough of this game. Minish Cap is one of your favorites and enjoyed seeing you play through it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really glad you enjoyed. And uh, again, it was spontaneous when we started this, just off of Tears of the Kingdom stream that literally crashed like two months ago. And we we're talking about it earlier in that stream, so I played it. Uh, Croton's quest came to an end. Not the end of Zelda and Croton's adventure in Hyrule. Plenty. Legend will continue. And Minish Cap 2. As long as the power of the Light Force echoes throughout the ages. Yeah. It's like an early timeline type game, if you want to put it there. Or just it's its own cool adventure, like the LR. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> the name of the game is a pun. The cap that diminishes your size. It's Minish. It's small. It's Minchy. Four sword stream in the future? I mean, I don't really have other people I'd play it with, personally. I never played any of the multiplayer Zelda games. Uh, I have Triforce Heroes, but they shut down the live service the other day. So, oops. Mm -hmm. That's a rip. Mm -hmm. Okay, creates a spend point. We're going to create it over this one, too. Okay. Okay, so it seems like... <laughs> we'll do Goron first, because that seems more f like an exclusive reward. That's cool. Also, it saves over the potions you used. Okay. So the games don't normally do that. You just save with what's before, but... Yeah, I guess it actually created a save afterwards, and it saved your item data. So. Mm -hmm. Where's Minish Cap in the timeline? Right after Skyward Sword. So. Yeah. Because it doesn't have, like, Ganondorf and stuff, so. 
Because the first game that can canonically have Ganondorf, at least for what's set up, is Ocarina of Time. So they were able to tell side stories like this in between. Oh, wait. I messed up. Wind ruins. <laughs> yeah. We're just doing these last couple things, and that's it. So from what I heard, it is Big Oron and then figures. Is that it? Just like three or four figures. But now we have rupees to buy the rest. Which, so that's fine. Hello. Oh, oh. Welcome, Goro. Tiny Goron, you are. Unexpected visit. A shield. <laughs> and now we can go to him after we beat the game. You know, the taste of steel, considered a fine delicacy. We'll have it because I barely used it. <laughs> a bite, a lick, a tiny crumb. Okay, just the tiniest. Uh, just a little. Uh, <laughs> he wants it all. And then devour it. <laughs> Just the tiniest corner. He's reconfirming. Or re bargaining, rather. Thank you, Goro. Let's dig right in. I guess that's post game. Super clip. Oh, delicious. Deep, rich taste surpassing even the great's praise I've heard. <laughs> You're welcome. So when do you come back? <laughs> uh, figures first, I guess? I guess that's a time thing. Mm. Music is goaded, very. We'll do them. We can just buy the rest of the shells from all these amazing rupees we got from the castle. In fact, I'm going to buy some more milk because I can't. Oh, wait, no. If I buy more milk, I won't have enough for the shells, so... Sorry, milk lady. Appreciate all the times that it could, though. I think I'm going to here. No, here. <laughs> yeah, other oh, Zelda streams. The Wind Waker one, I want to do the Oracle game, so it's lots exciting. Um, multiple Zelda games wouldn't really have a way to set it up. Uh, nor am I too interested, but if I had a party to do it, it would be different. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe bucket list before I die type beat. Yeah. <laughs> also not too... I, I heard they're just kind of okay. A, a, a Triforce Heroes looks pretty fun though, so. I originally semi had something set up for it. It didn't fall through and now the service is down, so I'd have to emulate it. <laughs> fun. Okay. And just like that. By 120 little shells. Ooh, only a hundred. Were we really that low last time? I guess so. Twenty rupees by. Or I guess gambling minigame to du duplicate it and then get the rest. So, save. We're doing the gambling, so I need some, uh, well, some feedback. Should we get the left chest, middle chest, or right chest? I'll follow your guys' suggestions again, because they always work. Give it a try. Okay. But after we do this with the figures and then get the mirror shield, I think that's it then. So that'll be then for the playthrough, because fully 100%ed. But yeah, thank you for watching. It's been awesome talking about stuff and... I appreciate the help too, which is nice. Um, and yeah, just being here for this awesome underrated game. Okay, create suspend point. And we're gonna create it right there. Okay, so left is the first go. So what's next? Left is right. Good job. Let's do it. Create suspend point. Left, middle, right. Left, middle, right, middle. Left, middle. It's okay. Left, middle, right. 
right in the middle. As the other guy says. Creates a spend point. Create. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing it right. Right. Yeah, okay. Two of them are right. That's really good. Right in the middle. Great spend point. For one in three chance, pretty good. That's fine. <laughs> At least we know. Okay. 810 rupees. That's enough, isn't it? I forgot how much we had. They can always rewind it. We're just going for that. It's a good job. Honestly, I don't remember how many we have even right now, so... Uh, this is just my own one. I had to throw my own at the end. But I was wrong. I think I was almost full anyways, but... That guarantees. We'll be fine without gambling for the rest, because we get... 30 times 150. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 30 times 5. 150. So almost 300 shells for the rest. That's good, right? There's not too many more figures, I would assume. How many actually are there? <laughs> oh yeah. Let's not get the one rupee yet, because we can't hold it. So let's buy four more stacks of shells. And 200 rupees. Yeah, and then for the last, last figure, we'll just spend all the shells that we have left over, so... Slightly higher odds. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Give me 50 per pop. Okay, so I'm, I think it's going to be each of the three phases of body and then maybe the black iron knuckle. I would assume that's it then. So four. So we're going to need 200. Unless there's another one, but I don't think there would be. And now we just need to get one single rupee, and... <laughs> it's almost wraps. This is the playthrough. <laughs> oh, one single rupee. <laughs> Thank you, Soldier Bush. Yeah. Again, thank you guys for being here through it. It's been awesome. Um, I don't know how long the gotcha thing will be, but with high odds, won't be that bad. Yeah. I can also just check the list to see how many figures. Also for the Goron shield thing, how many more, like, how does the waiting work for that? Is it like, oh, they're waiting where you have to kill 10 enemies? Because that's how like the potion making process was. If you kill 10 enemies, come back, then it's done. I wonder if it's the same. Create the spend point. Right there. Right there. Oh. Final series. Check it out. One is a 4%? Oh, probably 4, 3, 2, 1, maybe? Whatever. We're just doing it. I'll, I'll check the list later to see. 47 of them. Probably like eight more pulls, because four of them will be wrong. Oh, Zelda and Croton. That, that's a cute one. These two became fast friends because of Smith and the King of Hyrule. Zelda wishes that the sometimes unreliable Croton were just a wee bit stronger. Yeah, just a wee bit stronger. <laughs> well, I guess this would be like pre the game. We became a bit more than a wee bit. <laughs> a minish bit smaller. Or stronger. <laughs> Aha, pun. We'll, we'll take it as that. And not an insult. Oh, I can just go like that. It's probably all at the end, so... One, two, three, four, five more! There were six in total. So five more. I would need 250. Okay, let's do 40% chances. I think that's just a faster way. Creates a spend point. 
yeah, 40% chance is perfectly fine in my book. I guess 45. Almost 50 50. Maybe one extra pull throughout the entire thing. Ah, oh, come on. Boulders are pretty cool, one, though. not that then we'll leave and rejoin the building and yep i think they're all gonna be red so like the predetermined to fail 45 percent chances still curious to see them all <laughs> funny the one zelda game you can't 100 percent well i guess sorry let me finish the thoughts one zelda game you can't 100 percent before finishing the finale but then i realized that Breath of the Wild and Tears exist. In those games, you have to finish the finale to get the Medals of Honor, technically. Maybe something else? I'm not sure. Ooh, Minish Ezlo. <laughs> Minish Ezlo before he was cursed by Vadi, a famous Minish sage, even among Minish inventors, renowned for his amazing creations. <laughs> like a hat that, you know, gives people like Vadi unnecessary power. Thank you, Ezlo. All your fault. Well, thanks to you, we had a game to play. Plot. Okay, four more figures. Yellow eggs are good eggs. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a good one, right? Black Knight. Probably Black Iron Knuckle. Strongest Dark Knight. A good balance of attack and defense. <laughs> Anything to stop you? Like that whirlwind spin move. What well, whirlwind jab move? Not as cool as my whirlwind spin. So that's the hard counter. Creates a spin point. Okay, we got three more left. And then we'll talk to Mr. Bighorn again. Keep going. Oh, wait. oh no, I'm right. <laughs> we got that. Load suspend point. You? Yes. If it's wrong, I'm just not bothering. Go back. Hmm. I thought I heard it was two items at post game, but maybe you get an item for doing this. So, not too sure. Oh, I accidentally did 50%. Oopsies. <laughs> that's fine. I feel like greens probably aren't it, because I think that's common, but I don't know. <laughs> it's always the trap. Just the trap. <laughs> this blue shell grind without emulator advantage is one of the worst you've done in a game. <laughs> it Emulator only. Or excessive pain. <laughs> Choose your path. I've been through a lot of pain. We don't need more. <laughs> e emulators soothe those burdens. By a decent bet. <laughs> Come on, we just 100% of Tears of the Kingdom, so... There was our non-emulator pain. Trap. <laughs> it is a trap. A time trap. That's gotta be a golden egg. I'm feeling like a golden egg myself. Yeah! Vadi Reborn. That was a cool phase. <laughs> Literally. Just destroy the orbits that attack the sun. Took the form after draining the power of the light force from Zelda. Evil beams are devastating. Okay. Now two more. It's probably just the last two Vadis. Vadis. Vadi probably sounds cooler. Now with the one probability. 48, I don't 
Yeah, use the rest for the final one when we can. Another golden one. I'm feeling golden about that. Yes. Vadi transfigured. Once Vadi's body has been shattered, dark form rises up. All that remains of the evil sorcerer. So the first one is really just the last of his body. Then just evilness overflow. And the four sword got him. Four sword seals evil. He was evil. Creates a spend point. Last one. We're just going to put all of our shells into it because that's the last one. What are the odds? I don't even know. 48 maybe? 51. Okay. <laughs> Slightly better than not, it looks like. <laughs> Psychic that he knows what these people look like. He hasn't even seen them. <laughs> and Vadi's Wrath. Yep, I knew that guy. Okay. <laughs> Ready a fan, make a figure. Prophet. Uh, embodiment of purest evil, final form of the power mad Vadi. Mind consumed with the hunger for destruction? Find its weakness. <laughs> Flipping the hands. So, interesting weakness. <laughs> Killed his internal virus. Every single figure. Keep a good eye on your collection from the shelf. Item? Karlov medal. Oh, that's what that is. Only heard it by name. Right, his name's Karlov. I... There's too many people. Uh, commemorate your copious collection. <laughs> it's his face. Of course, makes figures of everything. One of himself. Golden face. What won the slot? Oh yeah, oh yeah, shells. <laughs> we literally used our last shell to do it too. I, I can't even check my shell count. Maybe it's because I have none. Either way, that's funny. I guess check my kinstone pieces even now. I don't need them, but... Oh well. Tiger scrolls, we have all that. All very awesome stuff. So, we're gonna save it. Yeah, last thing, just gotta get a mirror shield, which... Again, I think it might have a kill enemy requirement. <laughs> he watched a stream before creating the figure. Ah. <laughs> well, truly the most valid strategy. Hmm. A shelf of holding. Well, yeah, let's see that if it's not ready, we'll kill like 15 enemies, come back, because that seemed to work for the other thing. So I'm guessing that's translates? <laughs> I'm 100 percented Oh yeah, almost a perfect 25 hours for the playthrough. And for a full 100 percent that's pretty good. So for 3D Zelda games, it takes you sometimes that length to get through the first segment of the game. It feels. Oh. Not in a bad way, though. Yeah, quick, fun pace. Ooh, minish time. Okay, kill a couple guys in the most flashy way possible. Because I really miss these remote bombs, or I will. I'm gonna use the remote bombs. <laughs> Where's the minions? Bye bye. Oh, wait, we maybe let them split into five. I think it'll count as more enemies. <laughs> Bomb it up. <laughs> Is a. When you're doing the potion stuff, oops. <laughs> when you're doing the potion stuff with the Minish, uh, and you have to concoct it, and they're saying, be right back. I got. I forgot who mentioned it, but it's either you have to kill like, like 10 or 15 enemies, and that's how the timer is counted. So it's not like a time counter. Okay, we're just gonna slack some goblins in the forest and call it a wrap. Are we gonna do that? Yes, we are. Oop. Dash. Worst enemy to do that against, but bye bye. Oh, <laughs> jumped at nothing. Jumped to something. There. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Not against you. Like one more. No, this is Syrup's house. We don't need potions. <laughs> Not like we have money for it, because I spent it on shells. <laughs> Long dash. Okay, maybe just a couple more. A couple more. Fast and... <laughs> This is literally the last thing for the entire playthrough. And you're gonna die Octorok. Or 
No, final one. Get pushed. <laughs> okay. Just to make sure we're perfectly fine. Get pushed. And to make sure we're really, really, really fine. I mean, excessive. Get pushed. <laughs> First dungeon boss. We're, we must really, really, really be fine. For the final object, which for some reason a post game, I guess it wants you to wait on something that I don't know. Here's a little post game concept that's not just figures. Enjoy. I know what it is, but I know I don't know how it's utilized. Please, you're not chewing. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that probably was an enemy count thing. Thank you so much. Finally, know the legendary taste of a shield, just a shield. Turn into a better shield? Spit it out. <laughs> Covered in gore on spit. The mirror shield. We <laughs> already know what that looks like. <laughs> Has a nice shine. Oh, stop shining. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mighty shield shines like a mirror. Deflect or reflect enemy attacks. Sadly, I wish I could use that sooner, but... <laughs> a little bit of shape change. It's a different shape one. And it's polished. But with that, the game is now officially 100%ed. All items, all items upgraded, bottles, we have the medals, uh, for kinstone fuses, collection, the scrolls, the uh, side little items and goofies, and yeah, we'll save right there. Keep that immortalized. Um, I'm going to test out the mirror shield really quick. Not really much beyond that, but yeah, right over the figurine collecting. Oh, wait, no, it's got to be the big go on. Looks cool. <laughs> um, probably a lot of different things I can try it on. It's just, you know. Something projectile based, so that'd be you. Yeah, it deflected him back. Uh, what's, a, what's a thing? <laughs> Everything's dead. <laughs> let, let me deflect one thing. An arrow guy. We'll deflect an arrow guy. How about that? Could probably deflect like wizard robes too. Well, there's an arrow guy to the left of town. This will be it. This will be the end of the Minish Cap playthrough. Um, next stream will be Wednesday night, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, for the start of the Tears of the Kingdom Zone I run. So, getting ready for that. I'm very excited. Starting on the plateau, but a lot of fun Zone I stuff and potential. We'll announce when we start our Wind Waker HD stuff. Uh, when we get closer to it. Just not in these next couple of weeks. So, I'm focused on the, the tears run and some video making. So, I'm excited to do that when it uh, comes forth. <laughs> oh yeah, Octoroks. A beam! I was expecting the attack to deflect, not shoot a laser out. So, probably does that for anything. It's like deflectable projectile based. <laughs> well, that's neat. Too bad it's a post game item, but maybe that's why. So you're not just shooting beams at everything. Like it doesn't want you to focus a bit more on swords in the finale. It wouldn't really be a problem. He's in. How do you... What? Bye bye water rock rock. <laughs> Get lightsaber. That did like no damage. Okay. It's cool. Gives you a reason to use the shield, at least. Um, sorry, one arrow guy, and then we end. I guess I forgot about the octos, but... Arrow, 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 arrow. They're here, right? They're here, I know they are. They're down here, yep. Bye-bye, Mr. Moblin. Face me. Face your foe. Get the beam. Using a prehistoric bow. Like the Zone Wood Bow. Wooden bow. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's just cool. He was so confused he shot a gun and that's how he dust. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. All I want to see. Thank you guys for watching Minish Cap playthrough. All eight. Well, end of the eighth stream and final one. Um Yeah, as I said, stream next Wednesday. More stuff in between. Video this weekend. Uh hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Or start to it rather. Um I'm going to start mine, and to say goodbye, we have, of course, Piggy and Baby Floyd. So goodbye, thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye. <laughs>